So, you guys leave the shores of Satya aboard the Nado Ho gear with Captain Dozen at the helm and a hearty crew managing the ship. The salty wind of the sea brushes on your faces as you head out towards New Biscay and the mainland of Elinthi. Whoop! There you are. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> boat, 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 boat. Boat, 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 uh, Fritz, uh, you are well acquainted with this crew, and uh, you, you're fairly familiar with them, or at least well acquainted with, with most. Uh, and uh, although the rest of you uh, are fairly new to this, and uh, you get a few introductions to a couple of them, uh, and like a, a couple of crew members actually ask for autographs. The orcish man in the back over there <laughs> asks you to carve your name into his cutlass. Aww. That's cool. Ooh. I do mine the biggest. I give him a John Hancock on his cutlass. Oh, nice. hell yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, I can't wait to hang this on my in my bedroom. Anything Aww. for a fan. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. And then he, he winks at you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> he like holds up his hands like an anime villain and cackles. Yes. Oh. My subjugation grows. <laughs> Oh, boy. And after you make a fair ways out to sea, Dozen lets a helmsperson take the wheel, and he kind of goes up to uh, address you all. All right, uh, we should be our making our way to the mainland by sundown today. Uh, it's quite the wobbly path ahead of us, so I hope you're strapped in for probably the most fun sitting around and waiting you've ever had. Uh, careful not to get too excited, I... <laughs> Exactly how long is this going to take? Uh, uh, several hours, I, I'm afraid. Can't speed it up. We are full sail, but the winds seem to be calm this day. If there mm. is an empty barrel, word will find it and just rest in it. <laughs> rest in it? Aww. Okay. I'm not, I'm not big on both. Yeah, there's probably one like nearby that you could move, I don't know, some of the supplies, maybe some of the cannonballs into another one okay. that it's not I'm, I'm on top of one. I just yes. like put cannonballs on the floor and I slink into it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see somebody else, like the dwarf up here, just like she just grabs it and puts it in the other one, just like smiling, shaking her head. Ah. <laughs> they'll, they'll be closer to the cannons that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a question, um, just uh, kind of a general question, if you wouldn't mind. I oh, speak away. I've, I, I see there's a lot of um, cannons and um, uh, crossbow type mechanisms. <laughs> is is should we be worried at all about what's out here on the sea? Well, maybe a passing caution, I would say. You are very important figures now, being the pilgrims of Satya and holding the dragon's heart with you. I do hope you have the dragon's heart with you, I. Yep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes. much as Satya has its own problems, it's full of honest folk. The people of the mainland, and he leans in and puts kind of cups a hand over his mouth. They ain't too fond of looking out for each other or as generous in, uh, as the people in Satya, if I'm to be frank. A lot of them in the mainland like to look out for themselves, and some of them, desperate as they are, are willing to do a few desperate things. They get more bandits out there than we do in Satch here. Mm. And some of them take to seafaring. Yeah, boy. Pirates. Aye, you think, pirates. <laughs> huh. uh, you think anyone on our boat would try something like that? Oh, uh, no, I've known this crew for as long as I can remember. A few of them, I've been sailing before they were born. And he looks over at Fritz and has a little smile. <laughs> oh. That's weird to think of. I uh, no pirates. worries. You ain't got nothing to fear from this crew. <laughs> but, uh... He just looks around and slinks back into his barrel. I, it's not, uh... <laughs> It's not unrealistic to expect, if not pirates, then the odd, angry, you know, seafaring creature, but just a warning shot or two usually gets them back into the depths whence they came. They're usually just hungry. They see a big thing, they think it's got food, as sometimes some of us seem to throw things overboard instead of waiting until we dock. And then you can see that one human is just kind of like, 
whistling while he swabs the deck. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh no. Littering, I swear. Anyway, you've got nothing to fear. Besides, you handled yourselves pretty good in the tournament, as I saw. So if we do <laughs> run into anything, I'll be happy to have you at my side. But the tournament wasn't in the ocean. I think Lair is just like white knuckled on the uh, banister of the boat, <laughs> just like trying to be cool about it, but kind of not having anything resembling sea legs at this point. <laughs> you see that uh, Dozen easily notices, but he's just kind of like shaking his head and chuckling to himself. But is there anything else I can do for you lot in the meantime? Floof up the beds, get some music going. I know the big guy over there knows a few tunes on the bongos that could keep you entertained for an hour or two. Uh, snacks under the deck if you get peckish. Yeah, I've got a, a list of new jokes I've been meaning to try out for talent night, yeah. and the whole crew just groans. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, now, talent night, run that by me. There's a, That's something that happens aboard the ship? Or? Aye, every week, but we can make an exception for you. <laughs> I'm afraid I, I don't really have any specific talents. Um, ah, n- at least nonsense. None. So worthy. Well, at least I, I'm not saying I don't have any talents, but none that I believe are worthy of a, or performance worthy, I would say. Well, lucky for you, my friend, talent night is not about being good. It's about being awful together. That's what this uh, whole adventure is, I thought. Oh, that's reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> Those who cannot sing at all. Boy! I can sing. I didn't say I could sing good. To a deaf cat. <laughs> hey. If all we're going to be doing is singing and sailing, can I get my tots early? I, I can go and get them for you. And uh, you, lass, uh, you're looking a little bit more green than usual. And I don't just mean the decorations around your hair. You're going to be all right. What? No, I'm good. Everything's totally fine. This is nature, and I'm good at nature. So we're fine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'm going to go below deck and see what I can find. Eh? And he kind of walks down the stairs to go find some snacks for your word. <laughs> uh, he specifically asked for a tot, which, if anyone doesn't know, that is a daily ration of whiskey and water. Hmm. Huh. Or rum and water. I didn't know that. I mean, I totally knew I that. Thought I thought you didn't want that either. I <laughs> <laughs> And if you have uh, any tater tots, if you could... Yeah, you those tater tots. I'll take it up with a cook. <laughs> Throw them in the air, fryer. Uh, I, I, I take out my, my pillow that I have in my possessions that I don't remember stealing, and I put on some slippers that I also stole. Uh, I chill out in my barrel Bunny for my slippers. Tot. I just can't get over how unsafe it would be to have a deep fryer on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an air fryer. An air, air fryer. fryer. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Hook it up to their generator. <laughs> Which they have, of course. Yeah. Hook it up to your local electric <laughs> elemental. Mm. Mm. They have a Warforged song. Oh, I wish they do, yes. Yeah, so these sick. tokens, they are shorthand for basically what uh, race they are. You see the dark gray, like, oh. nondescript one that's a human. Uh, this l- smaller brown one that is a gnome. Uh, this one's a dwarf. This is a black dragonborn, an orc, and a warforged. Yes, good eye. Hmm. If if you have a mini oh, lore dump you. that any of our characters would know, what are warforged in this world? Warforged hmm. in this world, um, for like a long, long time ago, like before the founding of the basically like unified alliance that uh, all the different kingdoms have, which would be war. year zero. Um, Mm-hmm. Warforged were made to, as you can guess, wage war. And uh, yeah. some of them, uh, most of them in the past, were basically just no different than a machine that followed orders and a construct. But some of them have, as some people refer to, woken up and gained sentience. Not all of them have, but hmm. a lot of them are just remnants from old Warforged factories created to uh, fight you know, battles and stuff. But. So there could potentially be, like, some terracotta soldiers just waiting somewhere? There could be, potentially. Um, yeah. Uh, potentially. Yeah. Most of these, they usually like to take their names <laughs> from, like, notes. the first thing they notice when they wake up, i.e. persimmons, oh. you know? Aw. Oh, I love... I forgot... Yeah, I forgot about persimmons. Yeah. <laughs> so they usually, persimmons like... Persimmons was just so gorgeous, you overlooked it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw her beautiful soul. I wasn't paying... <laughs> But yeah, usually any, any <laughs> warforged that are walking around, they are ones that have woken up and gained their self-awareness, sentience and sapience, mm. and uh, have are basically like any other people. 
All right. Very cool. Nice. But yeah, you've got quite a few hours before you reach the mainland, so you have some downtime if any of you wish to, you know, hang out amongst yourselves, talk with the crew, stuff like that. <laughs> Belch overboard. I might, <laughs> I might manage my spell list a little. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'll lean up against the. Ba- is this the barrel that you're by? Word. Is this, yeah. Is that what well, I'm, yeah. I'm on top of a barrel. That's the mast. But ah, yes, these I circles see. are are the mast and stuff. I'll lean up against the barrel that I uh, like. Like sit on the ground, just back against the barrel that we're <laughs> sitting in, and I'll take out my book. Uh, I don't have it in my. I thought I put it. Are in my you inventory. reading something? Lost, lost in a drift. Oh, ah, the, that's my the that's wholesome my, romance that's my novel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm reading the book. I've already I've already looked at. The, I know we had this conversation previously. I've already looked at the the cover and the blurb on the back, and I I I'm taking it upon myself to familiarize myself with the contents of the book. Although I understand how you think it's not completely necessary, it's my money I spent on the book, so that is what I choose to do with it. No, I, I can respect that. I, that Buck, I, I have a request that you are not mm. allowed to judge me for. Can okay. you read that aloud? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I I just started the book. I mean, if you, you want I me got to... nothing else going on right now. I'm just waiting for a Todd. I, I don't feel good. <laughs> um, yeah, of course. Uh, Sure, I'll, I'll read. I can read it aloud. I don't want to be too loud because, of course, <laughs> there are people that are um, uh, working, what and I it? don't want to bother too them. Too saucy. So. I don't. I've not yet. Re- I don't believe it's going to be saucy. But let me just here. I'll start here. Let's get into it. Yeah, Talent chap- night is starting early. I see. <laughs> Ch- chapter one, L- lost, um, and <laughs> so I was moving about the deck of the ship and then do you want me to just do you want Joe do you wish me to improvise the lost and the drift that is up Uh, to you whatever the story you think would be good you can improvise if you want I I can come I forget what I forget what you said I forget what you said it was ah yes the premise was an old (laughs) veteran airship captain has uh, basically (laughs) retired and is trying to find more uh, new purpose in his life uh before he runs into one simil- in a similar situation where they team up to tr- try and find a new purpose, a new meaning, a new calling before they find the new calling was each other. And you is said this, this was a, the good one, right? This is the good one, yes. It's pretty trophy. <laughs> it's pretty trophy. Now we have standards. You can, you can predict it's where it's going, but it's like it's not trying to do anything original, but it does it really well, you know? It's like a 50K this, slow burn, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm. They get through the only one bed adventure and the... Yeah, yeah. It well, wins awards, but standard people don't it has like a, it. Is this? Did yeah. you? Did you say this was an airship? Airship, yes. It, right. it has a tasteful fade to black scene as well. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, chapter um, one. So we're chap- not finding all our lost. synonyms for heaving bosoms and such like. <laughs> no need for that. There might be no, some. No, no. <laughs> They're subtle. Mm. Ah, yes. Chapter one, lost. <laughs> I looked out of the sunset. And you'd think that I had the beauty of the majestic reds and wonderful yellows would be lost on me as someone who has seen the sunset from the decks of the ship thousands of times. Have you been time. on a boat before? <clears throat> um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been on a, not, a, not an airship, um, but I've been on a boat before, yeah. Oh, wait, is it about an airship? I didn't. Well, I, <laughs> okay. I, I learned that from I'm, the blurb, I'm cutting in, I'm gonna... cutting in. I thought you were the narrator for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm reading, I believe, from the perspective of the Yeah, of it was the main just so character. convincing. I, I, go ahead. <laughs> this oh, is why books oh, aren't why, worth the trouble. <laughs> why, why? Thank you, Word. I appreciate it. Uh, but, but, so, uh, the, uh, let me see where I lost my place here. Uh, 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 sunset, a uh, million times before. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, from the deck of the ship, uh, the King's Mill was its name, and it was... Uh, 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 the King's Mill was its name. It was an old ship had been through... Countless can you change the name to the travels. boss's mill? Sorry, what did you say? Can you ch- you want can me you to change the name to yeah, like the boss's mill? Uh, uh, you know, I think maybe the the authorial <laughs> voice of the author might be a little, but I I doubt it's too important. So sure, the boss's mill. I don't have a pen. This is gonna be. I want to remember this. Hold on. Word, if, maybe you should write your own version. <laughs> <laughs> I, can I, word I, write? 
can we write? <laughs> I can. Word? Can you write? <gasps> My handwriting isn't good. Got little oh. talons. It's not easy. Me they too. have scribes yeah. for that now. Layra Fritz, are you guys listening to this? Or <laughs> I... Oh, of course I'm eavesdropping. <laughs> Am I involved in this? <laughs> Everyone's I'm sure like, if you look around, you realize uh, everyone's kind of got an ear out right now. I have not moved, but you guys are quite loud. <laughs> it is true. Uh, Some well, people are listening, and they're like, well, come on, come continue. Word is in the barrel, so I'm just trying to be loud enough so that my voice carries over the sound of the ocean for him to hear it. Okay? That's why I'm, I'm not trying to be loud, because I need an audience, or want an audience. Okay, the, the, the name of the ship was the Boss's... Mill. It was an old ship. It's seen many a travel, many a journey. And as I look down at the wooden floorboards and then back up again at the at the large, I assume, Joe, it would be like a, is it like a blimp kind of ship? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get the lore I, you wrong. You know what? I say you can take whatever liberties you want and I'll mold the, yeah, the your book. Thing. There was, if this is in-universe in fiction. Look, yeah, it's in-universe fiction. It could be whatever. <laughs> I looked up at the, at the, the fabric of the blimp above me, I'd have noticed a worn spot right at, right as where the ropes and the, the hitchings met the side. And then I looked down at my hands, the calluses uh, that had, had worn themselves on those ropes specifically. And as I looked back at the sunset, it made me think that this might be the last sunset I see aboard the boss's mill. <laughs> I was starting to think that maybe my time as a ship captain was over. There wasn't as much left. Is this all just like I... an internal monologue, or is he going to fight somebody? This guy is taking um, a sweet time to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, he really I'm, is. He's just reflecting. I, I think I think it's, as I understand it, there's supposed to be a bill. I'm not even through the first paragraph. You can see. And so can I think flip, that... Can you <laughs> flip like a couple chapters forward, see if anything changes. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you, hear, you hear footsteps coming up the stairs, and it's Dozen. He's got a few uh, spirits with him, and like... Uh, kind of wrapping of cloth. Oh, but you're gonna miss the slow burn. It's a bunch of build art. Oh, kids these days, don't, they don't know how to be patient and let a story come out. I like that one, especially the part where, and the whole crew goes, whoa, 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 spoilers. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go back and read it myself, if, 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 just for the purpose of entertaining each other through the poor... Listen, you know, come the, on, that build-up, it sets up a lot of important character development that's going to pay off later, and you're doing yourself a favor if you just sit there and just listen for a little bit, all right? Look, narrative description of a situation is not character development, that's world-building. It sounds well, like he's going to keep doing that. You know, true as that may be, I, I, I promise you it's going to be worth it later on if you just be a little yeah, bit patient. Right. Is it just me, me or is hearing a book much slower than reading it? Uh, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. I read it out as I, as I read it. So uh, Th That's why normally I, know, I read every other word. <laughs> By the uh, way, well, here's I your... Guess... <laughs> we do have a little bit of rum down there. A little bit of yeah. snacks. Here you go. He gives you like some, some jerky. And, sticks. Yeah. What, what's available? So it's basically <laughs> like dried rations. Cool. Gourmet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Settles me down a little bit. Uh, while, while Buck is reading this out, Lara and Fritz, are you guys doing anything specific, or are you just, like, listening in? I'm trying to figure out the, the life I'm hack for not up. getting uh, seasick. <laughs> it's like, guess, all right, maybe if I watch the horizon, that'll work. No, that's not helping. Maybe if I close I, I my eyes, I'll that'll like, Oh, that's worse. I'll rub your back like that. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> you can give you me... Fritz. Actually, you know what? Lara, you can give me a constitution saving throw with advantage. <laughs> Oh, shucks. Uh, let's see if Thanks I can figure out how to do that. 17. All right. You, hey. feel, you feel your breakfast coming up a little bit, but thanks to Fritz's <laughs> patting you on the back, you're able to keep it down and feel a, a sense of normalcy. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Ugh. And you can see that uh, the orc that you signed as Cutlass is just like, are you all right? Do you need yes, I'm... something? No, no, I... Why? Is there something for feeling gross well, about being on water? Uh, I don't know, but I've got a, a little rat friend if you would like to see him. Oh. Yes! yes! He reaches into his pocket and you hear a little bit of squeaking and he pulls out and true uh, to his words, there's a little teeny rat. And uh, you can see that it's like a little bit soaked as well and he, he's it's eating like a cracker. Uh, little bugger was... Uh, uh, off board, kind of uh, at the docks, was swimming for his life when I picked him up. I don't know where he's from, but he's with me for now. 
Might drop them off when we get to New Biscay. I see. Can I pet rat? I want may to I, pet rat. May I see the rat? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. And he hands him over. You can Do see you, the can rat. I cast is a, speak with animals. It's a little, it's a little scrungly. Yes, you can speak with animals. What do oh you say goodness. to the rat? Rat, 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 rat. Hello, I trust you are an expert at ocean faring travel. Do you have any tips for a new, uh, a new participant in sailing? You can see it's munching on the cracker. Just oh, 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 good food. No, I almost drowned. I don't know how to swim. I see. A rat that doesn't know how to swim. We have much in common, little friend. <laughs> you are very bare-looking rat. Yes, I expect I would be. Do you have hard bread like this that big green rat gave? Not on me? Mm, it continues to munch on its own cracker. <laughs> Fascinating. Mm, mm. Fritz, you would you like to speak to the rat? Rat, 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 rat. You see, the rat I'm is almost excited. finishing off its cracker as it looks at you, Fritz. And then it immediately rah, and just jumps out of Lyra's hand and goes to hide in between the barrels. Bird, 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 bird. No, no, I won't. I, uh, Fred. Uh, <laughs> Has just, this rat destroy. never seen a cat before? <laughs> I feel strangely offended. <laughs> You're offended? It ran from me. Yes, but not me. Is there something wrong with my cat likeness? You see the orc <laughs> just like pointing. You're a very good cat. Yeah. The orc pointing thank its you. fingers together. Oh, I think you're pretty intimidating. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I just want to pet. I'm no fiend. Please, I give really good scritches. I'll tell the rat. <laughs> I would trust Fritz with my life, and she will certainly pet you well. Better than I could. Give me an animal handling check. Oh, no. With advantage, uh, because you can ah, speak shucks. to the rat and it can understand you. Nice. It <laughs> just skitters a little bit out from between the barrels. Mm. <laughs> good bird? Yes, many birds are good, especially this one. Mm. Not snatch me out of the ground and fly to nest to feed the horrible birdlings? I don't believe she has a nest or horrible birdlings, so you are safe. Hmm. It skitters up close to you, Fritz, kind of by your feet and sniffs it and skitters up your leg and just <laughs> goes and like up to your hair and just kind of kneads it a little bit. Hmm, good bird. I guess it likes feathers. Diplomatic relations have been established. I have a rat in my head. Life is complete. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We're really getting the hang of this. Yes. Yeah, and uh, that distracts you, at least for a moment, from the, the rocky waving of the ship that you are on. Um, yep. Then, let's see. The ship goes on. It's a nice time for a bit. You read more of Lost in a Drift, and I assume word <laughs> gets more impatient at the, all the build-up. <laughs> That's uh, and the, the, the laying the foundations of the story and the characters. It does take quite a while. It's like the moment Tolkien, anything happens. I... It's like Tolkien levels of over description. Uh, really? Yeah. Jeez. My God. Uh, and as you are sailing out, the ship actually starts to list just a bit from side to side more than it normally does, and you can see that Dozen is like, "Whoa, steady there, girl." Oh, we bump no. into anything. Is this normal? Uh, uh, typically, sometimes. It's just often the seas are not this little antsy with how calm the skies are. Then, boom, something hits oh. the ship and it shakes Ooh. as if you had just bumped into something. And Dozen calls it? out, Rotten Roots, what was that? <laughs> and then the whole ship goes quiet for a moment. Everyone is still for a few seconds. Dozen calls out to the crow's nest, Oi, seagull! Where'd that come from? And the crewmate in the crow's nest shouts back, Nowhere, Captain! I don't see nothing! Mm. Dozen looks befuddled mm. and just kind of looks around. Need me to scout? Uh, hi, Fritz. You do a little bit of scouting. Right. Fly around the ship, see if you can find something. Checking for damages. All right. You it's, fly it's around, and you can give me a perception mm. check if you wish. Yes. 
The skills are in alphabetical order. There it is. Yes. <laughs> you fly around and you can see that, uh, th like, below the the, sh the surface of the water, you can see that something, there is a cannonball lodge in the side Ooh. of the ship. It hasn't punctured all the way through, but Ooh. someone fired something at the ship. I guess I'll scream, break in the hull! <laughs> Oi, crew, get below deck, fix that break! And uh, you can see that a couple of them go downstairs. And uh, mm. you can hear shuffling around. And with that, such a high roll as well, you can see that there's distortions under the water as if there's something there, four of them. Mm. But there's nothing. It's as if there's a bubble in the water. Mm. A large Like something bubble. invisible is depressing the water? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perhaps? <laughs> I see. I'll report it back like, something's a mat, like something's a foot, Dozen. Something bad? I don't know yet. Then, as you say that, mm. boom, the ship shakes again, <laughs> bobbing side to side, and Dozen calls out to the crew, all hands on deck, fasten the cannons, check the lifelines. And you can see We're the crew die. starts to get together, and I'm going to need everyone to roll oh, initiative, no. for this is going to be a skill challenge. Oh boy! Oh, why is, why is La wow, that's my there. best oh, wait, roll I, of the game I wrote, so far. I rolled intelligence whips a lot from my. That's okay. In my brain to find. We're all doing so well this time. Yeah. Except we Jinxing don't know it. what to do this time. Jinxing don't it. say that. Oh, I know why what to do. Why did you say that? Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad to be back on familiar terrain, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> so, this skill challenge, uh, something is attacking the boat. You will use your skills and abilities to discover and or stop what it might be before it does more damage to the ship and potentially delay your travel. Uh, with th three successes of which Fritz, because of your such high perception roll, you will already have one. Uh, you will discover mm. the source of the attack, but with three failures, the source will become clear by itself, but at a hefty cost to the ship Ooh. and potentially the crew. Hmm. <clears throat> so let me rearrange everybody in the correct <clears throat> order. So first oh, off is go. Word. Oh boy. Uh, I think Word is going to like bolt out of the barrel and at any command that the captain gives relating Boing. to the ropes, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my, uh, what's the rogue ability that I get where I move super fast? Uh, cunning oh, action. Cunning action dodge. Uh, and, or, or rather uh, dash. Ac acrobatics, ah. just to dash. To basically, there's no way that I'm walking on two feet on a boat, so I'm scrambling like all legs, trying to climb up everything and just help fasten whatever needs fastening. If that, oh, yeah, acceptable. oh, right, yeah. yeah, with that, yes, you're like climbing around, you climb on like the, the ropes Ooh. that head up to the mast, like, like a freaking fast old spider going around, fastening the ropes, making sure everybody's lifeline is around their waist and tight, and oh then my God, nothing. Yeah. Nothing uh, short of a kraken is going to pull them overboard. Yeah, there's a there's a terrible like my waist hurts with how tight my lifeline is. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I will also say that the lifeline will prevent you from going any further than, let's say, eighty feet away from the ship. Mm. <laughs> That's too so far. So if oh, no. you uh, because uh, I'll say that it's tied to this mast here. Yeah. So that, you know, like if you're knocked overboard, you'll be dragged beside the ship, but you won't be lost at sea. And that's gotcha. one success. You have two successes. This might be a short chill skill challenge. Mm -hmm. Layra, your turn. Yes. Uh, so I haven't done much spell reshuffling, but in the interest of us being on a ship, I did swap out one of my cantrips for shape water, mm -hmm. which allows me to freeze a five foot cube of water. Mm. And, that oh. and it unfreezes in an hour. I would like to use this to plug any holes those cannonballs make in the hull. Oh, okay. Well, that's not going to be a thing that requires a roll at all, because that's a spell Thank that you. just does a thing. So, yeah, hey. yes, And it's you, a cantrip. I can just keep doing it. Yes, mm. you cantrip. You plug one hole, and uh, the, the hole that uh, Fritz had called out, and it just shoot, 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 the ice over to completely seal it. And, yeah, that's going to be three successes. All right, well. Fast skill challenge. <laughs> and you do so. Oh, nice. shucks. And as you do, you're able to endure whatever it was that attacked you so that uh, the attackers essentially give up and they reveal <laughs> themselves. And yes. I'll give me a sec to show them. Selecting it's them all. Destructora. And as you can see, there are several boats with cannons 
that rise up out from underneath the surface of the water. They reveal themselves as they seem to have been using some kind of cloaking magic of some kind. They reveal themselves and you can see that there are four attack boats kind of all surrounding the Nado Hogir. And hmm. Dozen, uh, on one of them, you notice that it is being led by a hobgoblin woman with ragged bindings, a scruffy short hair, wrapped in a bandana and decorated with jewelry. And Dozen uh, notices this, leans over to the side of the Nado and jeers at her, Paula. And you guys encounter Paula the Rattler. Whoa! Oh. Paul. Oh no, she's hot. <laughs> oh no, they're all hot. They're all hot. Stop it, Joe. And <laughs> the hobgoblin calls out, Ever a nice day to see you, old man. Apologies for the warning shots. I just heard that you were carrying some high value cargo this afternoon and will be taking it off your hands today if you'll be so kind. It depends on the cargo. Maybe we give it to him. I, I think Word, there's the a mix-up here. Oh, fuck. Word, get back in the barrel. Okay. <laughs> I go back in my barrel. Where the I think there's is. a little mix-up here. Um, the high, the high-value cargo is us. <laughs> Fritz, Fritz, why would you tell her that? <laughs> and she Fritz. calls out, "Oh, we know, darling. We know." I knew uh, it. And what exactly do you do you want us for? Hmm, I'm glad you asked. All these artifacts and dragons, you know, they're very important to Alinthi, and I intend to take that burden off your hands and sell it to the highest bidder. Mm. Hmm. And so, if you would make this job a whole lot easier for me, I'd be very grateful. Interesting. DM, you Give might us... need to rule how Entangle works in the ocean. Oh, shit. <laughs> um... Give us one second to discuss if, so we can come peacefully. Of course. But if any of your crew makes any sudden movements, I'm afraid you'll have a lot of holes to patch up. All right, does anybody have a fake amulet? <laughs> how do you sell a person? Uh, we don't need to get into that right now. No, no, we don't. I think <laughs> yeah, they I just mean, want we're gonna... little, uh, the jewel. I want to throw word in the barrel at them. I think that that... <laughs> I would not like that. How about we call that Plan C? The Plan Z. Hmm. Wait, that one worked in SpongeBob. Plan F. All right. If we make it through <laughs> plans A through E, we throw word at them. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> and you can hear uh, a shot fired... Um, the ship doesn't shake a little bit, but you can see that Paula is carrying what looks to be a flintlock pistol and fires it in the air. Tick tock, pilgrims! All right, excuse me. I'm going to go to the front of the ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I go? I'll, can I follow? You with the may. barrel in hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with word in the barrel. With word in the barrel. Okay, word. Make a stealth check with advantage. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stealth. Bam. Okay, you are pretty well hidden. You feel like if anybody took a second look at you, they could probably yeah. see, but it's kind of hard to see at the angle that they are, kind of low down there, so probably mm -hmm. pretty hidden. I'm clinging to the lid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Leira, mm -hmm. you go to the front of the ship and you can see Paula, and she yes. she is holding the flintlock pistol kind of pointed in your direction, and you can see that uh, the rest of her crew as well, they're like, hands ready at the string of the cannons pointed at the ship. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know what Entangle does in the ocean, but in the interest of scientific inquiry, I would like to find <laughs> out. Okay, it, I can let you know so that, okay, all right. Because <laughs> I, I wouldn't want it's you only to make fair. like a, okay. So, how I'm not making any sign that I'm doing this if I can help it. It doesn't say it has a verbal or somatic component. Uh, it doesn't entangle. Well, uh, hold on. It's got it says and, and it says somatic. components, verbal and somatic, but it doesn't specify what they are. Uh, mm. That just uh, means anyway. you have to. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I'm just sort of like looking back at like 
Buck is just kind of like, oh, yes, how interesting. Anyway, boom. <laughs> okay. I, I always like trying to subtly cast a spell being like a stealth check. Yeah, I, I would say so. that is something that a yeah. sorcerer gets. If you're trying to do it without... Because people cast spells in this world, so they can notice, like, yes, of familiar course. gestures. So if you do want to do it stealthily without them noticing, I'm going to need a stealth check. Great. I have plus zero on this. Hooray. <laughs> okay. 16. And before this happens, I assume, Buck and Word, you had a plan you wanted to do as well? What was your plan? I, I have a plan to stay in this barrel. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're gonna stay in this. Okay. I, I was gonna. Th I was gonna throw like the barrel. <laughs> throw okay. the barrel at one of these two. Maybe we can do uh, that after we do my plan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. 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 I yeah. was just wondering I in case you wanted to. Do I didn't know what. At, at I didn't know time. what yeah. Lara's. I didn't know what Lara's plan was. So, but I want to be able to throw the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean funny. to to say that you don't do that, Red. Yeah. I just wanted to see if there was anyone who wanted to do it like at the same time or no, something, or you would like to do it by yourself. Okay. So yes. You whisper a few words, move your hands a bit, and you can see that Paola has a little smile on her face, but then at, it's too late before she notices what your hand gestures behind your back are doing, and she hmm. is about to say fire, and the entangle immediately wraps around her entire boat, locking down the cannon attached to it, and locking her down, and I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative once again. <laughs> again. <laughs> What's the radius so, of that spell? Uh, big. Let me... It, it, nice. Yeah, she's like big. Foot radius? It's a 20-foot uh, It's a 20 foot square, uh, but it's it's a 90-foot range to cast, and then it's a 20-foot square. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just go roughly, like, let's say that. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oops. I am curious That's where the vines about. came from. <laughs> Yes. Well, the suit is made of wood. They. Uh, how would you uh, like to flavor it, actually? Well, I was sort of curious whether it would like grow out of seaweed in the ocean or if it would grow out of the wood in the boat. Uh, but I don't think I had an assumption over which it would do. So, oh, that's, you know, whatever. <laughs> spell flavor is up to you, friendo. Oh, well, the thing is, the, the ocean's a new environment for me. Mm. You know, uh, I think. Oh, uh, so you don't you don't know, and you were just like hoping. I don't know what's gonna happen when I cast okay, it. Okay, okay. So uh, I, I didn't know. You know, if you normally had a specific it's idea of how you wanted it. But if you're gonna, if you want to give me the leeway, I can describe how it happens. Of course, DM choice. So, being that the ship is made of wood, you can see that pieces of it sprout out into branches and burst out from this kind of tempered wood that, by all rights, should have been sealed and you know, long, complete into the structure, but somehow spew out and wrap around the uh, the people on it. Well done. Interesting. <laughs> so yes, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna need, uh, yeah, Word and Fritz as well to roll initiative. Sure thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Make sure your token is selected. And oh, I did not roll do initiative that. for them. Nice. Okay, so first up, is Buck. <laughs> you can see that um, uh, this ship is, this boat is entangled. Uh, you can see that they're struggling and uh, that Paola is struggling to give the order and kind of the other people are panicking a little bit as to what to do suddenly. Because they're like, oh uh, fuck, is my ship going to do that? <laughs> can I? It's not outside the realm of possibility, but I can't do them all at once. Can I get like here? And then chuck word, <laughs> um, <laughs> the word barrel. Um, the word. I guess barrel. I don't know which which one I want. Which side you want to go to? Neither. I want to stay in my barrel. I, well, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna stay in your barrel. It's just your barrel is gonna be chucked at one of these. <laughs> the barrel's these moving. I'll chuck okay. him at uh, at these people over here. Uh, word in a barrel. Plant, I say, plant barrel. F, and then I uh, <laughs> no raise raise the barrel over my head, and then I try and hit these these people with it. All right, give me a <laughs> strength check. It is an improvised Double weapon. Welcome. You chuck the barrel oh, like save, Donkey sorry. Kong down into the <laughs> boat and into this guy. I'm gonna need you to give me a. Fuck, how, I don't. I wasn't anticipating to think of what the damage die for a cobalt in a barrel was today. Um, <laughs> cobalt in a barrel, like cobalt 1D8 in a barrel. or something maybe. Let's do. Some, yeah, let's do a D8. There's probably bar fight rules for something like that, right? Just one D8. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Because normally, yeah, it's it's uh your strength 
uh, like, score? 1d8. Okay, you uh, throw it. It bangs into this human's face. Just, pff, ah! And you can see <laughs> that you've caused him a nosebleed. And nice. word, you are in the barrel over here. They they seem to still think you're some barrel, and they're very okay. upset at you, Buck. The audacity that you would just throw this barrel at them. This okay. boat's going down. Um, I have uh, get the fuck back I have 20 feet still of, or uh, now 15 feet still of mu movement. Can I jump? Uh, I guess I can try and get in the water. You could um, try and jump on the ship if you want. Before I do that, allow me to draw one of my cards and see what, because uh, <laughs> I still have rage? my bonus action. I am going to rage. <laughs> All right, let's rage. Uh, let me, so I have to remember how to do this to where it shows up on the thing. I think it's this. Lyra, I gave your entangled little flowers. Oh, oh nice. shucks. Thank you. Uh, that actually might uh, Ooh, change things a little bit. Surge. So, so. Um, oh. Oh. My hammer, big blind, uh, begins to glow, um, and I can now. The, the way that I understand this work is, I essentially can just throw my uh, my big hammer because it's light and thrown, even though it's a two-handed weapon, and I can throw it, and then it comes back to me. Wow! It just zips be able back to, in your hand. Like a yeah. So the hammer. range is okay. so the range is twenty. So I should be able to hit either of them with it. Um, We're mule nearing it. <laughs> yeah, we're moaning. So I actually don't have to leave the, uh, but I don't have my action. I can't, uh, You'll have to I do don't have my time. action. Uh, yeah, I'll, with that in mind, um, I don't know. If Lyra can, I don't know if Lyra can handle these. I assume she can handle these people by themselves, but I'll stay where I am for now. Okay. Mm. Uh, so on my turn. Next are the pirates' turns. Uh, you can see that, um, Paula is like struggling. What the hell's? Uh, come on! What are you standing there for? Fire! And you can see at the command, uh, these pirates are you going to pull the string on their cannons and fire on the ship? Boom! 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 Three of them fire off as this one cannot, as it is blocked down by the entangle, and the ship <laughs> starts to take damage, breaking through the hull. And you can see that a few of the crewmates as well pull, kind of go to their weapons barrels to pull out their weapons. And you can see they've got their spears at the ready. And Dozen is going to hop down from his wheel and he's gonna pull out his flintlock and start taking shots at the pirates. Nice. Uh, yeah. This one, uh, this water genasi, takes the barrel word, lifts it up, ugh, heavy barrel, and they're just gonna <laughs> chuck it into the ocean. You are now afloat. That's, that's an attack of opportunity, though. That is an attack of opportunity. Do you wish to take it with advantage since you are attacking out of Absolutely. stealth? Absolutely. Uh, I am going to swing at him with my fire dagger. Yeah. <laughs> oh. it yeah. Take it. <gasps> Ooh. That is a 19, an ideal, an additional 1d4. Let me just... Yep. Uh, Roll that on Google real quick. Oh, okay. I, I got a two, so let's just go with oh, that. Okay. So yeah, that two. is six, right. pl six yeah. plus eight plus so two. So this poor water genasi, unbeknownst <laughs> no, no. to them, they pick up the barrel and are about to throw it, and on the way as they let loose, you just whoosh, like <laughs> immediately an arm just lashes out from the barrel, cuts them, and they're, ah, what the hell? <laughs> And yeah, you just singe them real bad and they stumble backwards. They are That's knocked out damage. by just that one <laughs> that one slash. Nice. Dang. That can happen to your boat too. <laughs> but you are still afloat in the water. No now. shit. <laughs> as you slash them as they were chucking you. Okay. Uh yeah, and that is what happened. You can see the boat is taking heavy damage. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, Paula needs to do a thing. She's going to try and get out. She fails. Mm. She's going to use her action to try and get out. She gets out. She pulls out a cutlass and starts tearing to shreds the, uh, the vines around her. But that is going to be her turn. You can see that her smile is now a gridded frown. Gridded just mm. jeer. All right, Lyra. There's no way to treat your own boat. Uh, let's see... Oof. Um, I want to uh, keep the ship afloat. I'm going to uh, use another shape water cantrip on the nearest cannonball uh, uh, wound, I guess, mm -hmm. damage. 
uh, to just seal the hole. Yes. Uh, you do so. Then yeah, I, it's enough. Yeah. Uh, and I'm assuming the other two are at the back of the ship, so I might, uh, I'll, I'll move towards them so I can try and seal them up on my next turn, too. All right, I'm going uh, to draw the seals uh, just with little circles to indicate where you've sealed them so far, and just to okay. remind myself that they have been sealed. Oh, wow, my movement is bad. Mm. Uh, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> um, and I'm still holding concentration on the entangle. Uh, cause I figure that'll at least slow down, uh, whoever this is we're dealing with, uh, mm -hmm. cause it makes her boat difficult terrain. <laughs> yes. Uh, Fritz, your turn. Ooh, okay. I think, first of all, uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna use my movement to kind of be in front of Lyra. Hmm because I want to protect them, because I know they're the one with the stuff. Mm. Um, but they don't. Support. Yes, exactly. But I'm still going to take a precaution. Sure. You know what? I'm going to use my crossbow to target dudes over here. The It's not letting me ping. Uh, are you clicking and holding? These the ones. Selector? Yeah, there These we go. These ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're going to use your crossbow? Yes. So the water genasi is knocked out. All that's left is the human. Okay. Guess human. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh, phew. Phew. You fire it, and you can see the human is still taken aback by the word in a barrel, and just guide. <laughs> ah! Just out of nowhere. Lands handily. Well done. Whee. Anything else you wish uh, to do? Bonus action. I don't really need bonus action. Ah, da -da 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 -da. I'm just making sure if there's anything else I want to do. I I think I'm good right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Word, you're floating in a barrel. I, I exit the barrel. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to try and climb up the side of the boat and claim it as my first uh, belonging on this journey. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, I think, just swipe at the dude. Okay. I, I, he would totally know that I'm there, so I'm just going to... Yeah, ooh. yeah. you got sneak attack on the last one since it was at advantage, but uh, not this one. Yeah. Well, I mean, just in general, I don't have advantage. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, and this one you swipe, but then he notices you. He pulls his own cutlass, and he parries it out of the way. Oh, oh Jesus. so cool. Just you like better leave Treasure this Island. Mm. And you're going to make me like, small fry? <laughs> <gasps> ooh. Little alligator eyes peering over the side of the boat. I'm clinging to <laughs> This is mine. No matter what. We'll see about that. I guess we will. Uh, and we're just, I'm like standing there like puss in boots, just ready to duel him. <laughs> just, yeah, Wonderful. Uh, Buck, your turn again. Uh, I'll take out my uh, big blind, which is ne like my huge mace, which is now glowing, and I'm able to very like kind of toss it in my hand and I'll take it and just kind of sideways throw it so it's spinning uh, so I can get some bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And then I'll try and hit uh, this guy right here who's uh -huh. by the cannon. Uh, let me roll. Ooh, not enough. You mm. throw yeah. it and it goes wide and kind of knocks into the wood of the boat a little bit. But then bounces back, right? You can call it back to you? Yeah, it re <laughs> At the end of my turn, it reappears in my hand. Ah, it reappears, okay. Or at the end of the current turn. I, guess, I don't know if that's my turn or... I don't know if it matters. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah, all right. Uh, dang. Uh, I don't want to necessarily get close. Um, where did I both roll twos, huh? I will stay where I am for now. Yes. And okay. I don't have anything else that I want to do. So I'll end my turn. Next to the pirate's turn. The elf tries to pull the string on the cannon anyway, but it's stuck on the entangled vines. And you can see that Paola just like curses under her breath and she just takes a rope to throw at the top of the ship. Yep, it wraps around. She like swings over, climbs up, 
and she is going to take a stab at you, Buck, with her dagger. That... It's nothing personal. She takes a stab, and she is gonna stab ya. And I no. need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Uh oh. Oh, you're fine. Oh. Okay. You will take three, i.e. one piercing damage from resisting it because you are raging. Heck yeah. And you have resisted something as you notice that the dagger she has is coated with a bright green liquid. Mm, that's probably fine. Mm. And you can see that uh, the other pirates, they're reloading their cannons. So that's what they're going to do this turn. They're going to take an action to reload so they don't fire on the ship. However, their shipmate, their boat mate, is going to try and climb on the ship, including this tabaxi, who scurries on up and is going to take a shot at Dozen. Oh. No. And it hurts him real bad. They take their no! flintlock and poof, hits Dozen, and he ugh, hits him in the side. This tiefling is going to hop on the boat, and he is going to run and try and shove this human overboard. Hey. And he does so. He just runs up and does like a like a Sparta kick poof, and kicks the human off. Luckily, the human is attached to the lifeline, so he is uh -huh. safe for now. So, But he is being dragged behind the ship in the water, and the tiefling notices the rope and has an idea. Hmm. This human is going to try and attack you, Word. Ooh, and he's right. taking his his cutlass and swiping and swiping and swiping and nicks you pretty good a few times. Ooh. And you are going to take four slashing damage. You gotta pay for that. Uh, the crew, though, you can see that the orc is like, no, Captain, don't worry, I'll help you. And he goes to go and, like, just start swinging at the tabaxi. The tabaxi is too quick. This gnome is going to try and take a shot at the human. The crew is just rolling really bad today. <laughs> this human is going to try and take a shot at the elf. And does land it. Um, and Dozen is going to clutch at his wound. He's going to go and try and take cover behind the barrels and he's going to try and wrap some medical supplies around his wound. He seems badly hurt. And this dwarf is going to try and turn one of these cannons over here and load it. And that's their turn. Layra. Great. Okay, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Great, that's all of my movement. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to bomb of the summer court to Captain Dozent so he gets 1d6 healing. Ooh, wonderful. Um, let me just... Uh, I think that might work. Ooh, Perfect. you can see that his breathing slows a bit and he is a little calmed down and he gives you a, a nod, a knowing nod. Awesome. All right, that tiefling is 40 feet away from me, which is good because I have a lot of things that are 40 feet range. Um, yeah, uh, we're gonna try an ice knife. This Ooh. bomb of the summer court is not a spell. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. Feature. For my druid. It's a feature. Yeah. Neat. Um, so I believe I can just. Um, yeah. Let's see. How did that do? Ooh. Uh, All right. DC 13. Let's see. Oh, he fails it. So he takes the full damage. You throw cool. your ice knife and it lodges into him and it and he shudders a little bit. Ooh. And he stops Great. looking at the rope that he was getting ready mm -hmm. to cut and he looks instead at you. Good. That's one piercing and four cold. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. That was my movement, action, bonus action. Um, yeah, I think that's my whole turn. And I, I haven't been damaged, so I can still hold concentration on the entangle. Nice. It's keeping Fritz, the health down. your turn. Okay. I'm going to. I'm a. Jump up onto this box. Mm -hmm. Like. Doot, doot, doot. 
and hi lady sorry um crossbow <laughs> Ooh, it's gonna go a little wide as she dodges out of the way like just a, a slight tilt of her chest to the to the side and phew, goes past her phew. sorry uh not really much else I can do. That is the, what, the life of a ranger. <laughs> and, mm. End of turn. Word. Your turn. You can see this human is very badly hurt now. Oh, yeah. I pull out my second dagger. I was trying <laughs> to be nice, but you don't deserve that anymore. And I'll make my first attack. Ooh. Oh, and oh, my gosh. second, my offhand, offhand attack. Let's see. We're rolling. Ooh. Oh, oh my whoa. gosh. Wow. We rolled too oh, well on the initiative. The universe is balancing itself out. <laughs> you go, Red, remember earlier when you said we were rolling really well and I said, you're going to jinx us? <laughs> well, shucks. Both daggers, as you swipe and swipe, he ting, ting, parries both with his cutlass. All right, well, I'm afraid of you. I'm going to do something else. And I scurry <laughs> past him, and I try and set up the cannon to move it over toward this boat. Oh. oh. Yes, you give me yes, a strength check. Yes, I have an check. idea. Okay. Or uh, athletics, uh, if you so wish. Yeah, let's do athletics. Yep, you put, it takes better? a little bit to do it, but you turn <laughs> it and turn it, and boom, it's faced at the other boat. And you can see the elf is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You'll loss. This poor guy. I, I assume I can't fire it on this you, turn. So. You used your so, bonus action to offhand, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. So, yeah, yeah, you did. So, sadly, no. Cool. Next. It's my turn. Buck. Well, I'm only good for hitting stuff, so let's hope we get... To the Ooh, oh, we got an nice. Hey. Wow, that's hefty. That's a hefty blow. That's a chonky one. All right. And, uh, uh, oh my gosh, you hear a crunch as you hit her in the side. Ooh. And uh, you knock the smile right off her face. Not only that, DM, because of the feet that I have, I can move her five feet. Ooh, are you going <laughs> to knock her off? Oh, I'm going to knock her off the boat. Okay. <laughs> this is the problem with trying to do the swashbuckling, you know, both of you balancing on the beam thing against someone with a big fuck off hammer. <laughs> so I will, can I knock her over on this side? You most certainly forward? can. Does she need to roll anything about that or you just get to move her for free? She, she, I get to, uh, I get to just move her for free if I hit her and do bludgeoning damage. Wow, once that's turn, pretty we, good. Yeah, once you, turn, you yeah. just bat her off the side. And she's like rotten root into the water, and you can see that, like she just boom, boom, boom against the side of the, <laughs> the, uh, the hull a little bit. So we are moving. We are yeah. moving. Yes. Okay. Uh, Probably I'm still gonna. Under sale. I still have my movement. Um, I want to go try and take care of some of these other boats. Mm -hmm. So I have 40 feet of movement. Uh, Why am I so slow? Uh, Fritz, I don't know if you can take care of the boat that. But I'll, I'm gonna head towards the back, so I'll, I'll go here. If that uh, wait, is this something you want me to do? Because you're running by, you no, can no. communicate it to me. No, I trust you. <laughs> That's a lot of trust. I don't know what I'm doing. You, I say you got this, Fritz, and then I, run back. <laughs> uh -huh. and then I'll end my turn there. Okay, next to the pirates' turns. This elf is gonna try. He's gonna use it to action to just get out of the vines. And he does so, and he pulls the string on the cannon, and it fires again on the ship. Poof! You can see yeah. it's Ugh. shaking, and you can see the ship is actually sinking just a little bit. Oh. You got to get back on that freeze water. And this, yeah. this guy is, uh, this human is going to look at you, Word. Hey, get off of that! And he's going to try <laughs> and shove you. I need you a contesting acrobatics you or, or uh, athletics of your choice. My greatest foe. Oh, no. It's okay. He rolled a nat one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he goes to shove you, but he slips because of the rocking of the boat that you two have been doing, and he falls prone. <laughs> <laughs> I like I'm pointing at Lithuania. <laughs> uh, this tabaxi is going to swipe at the orc. Yeah, cuts him in the tendon and, like, snakes around ah! him, and he kind of falls to his knee. The orc is prone as well. The dwarf is has the cannon loaded, so they are going to pull it. It doesn't hit the other boat. It just kind of lands boom, in the water, but a little bit. 
Uh, this tiefling is going to run up to you, Lyra. Yep, come at me, bro. And he kind of leaps and does a little combat roll as he lands on the ship. And he is going to throw two daggers at you. Phew, phew. Ooh, very impressive. Ooh, they both land into you. That makes sense. You My armor class is 11. You take eight damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Certainly. Let's just do the con save first. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, you that's bad, are... bad, I guess. You are poisoned, so... Well, what does ah. poisoned mean? It's not damage over time. Like it's everything. like disadvantage on skill checks, yeah? Oh, yeah. attack rolls yeah. and skill checks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you are poisoned, so you will have disadvantage on attack rolls and skill checks until you can get it cured. Blech. Ooh. I'm, I'm going to be a rules butt here and say that she is concentrating on a spell. She is. Ah. You are. So yeah, what I do forgot I have to about do? that. So you need to make a constitution uh, save. Uh, and beat, he, de he dealt eight damage to you, so 10. You have to beat a 10. ten. Yeah, you're fine. Your vines are still con uh, concentrating. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, DM, now might be a bad time, but I meant to, I forgot to say that when I did the attack earlier, uh, it would have done an additional two extra damage because of my rage. Ah, yes, yeah, so two the, extra uh, damage here. I'll mark it down. Yeah. yeah so 17. No, that's good. Sorry. Thank you for letting me know. No, the math is important. Uh, this halfling is going to fire the cannon. <laughs> Another hole in the ship. And this elf mm. is going to fire the cannon, but then doesn't. And whoa, is pulled overboard by Ooh. something. By oh, something. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Always a bigger fish. Boats. Next. Play me off of here. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, so many options. Um. takes an action to uh to seal up one of the holes with the shape water uh and i kind of don't want to do that right this minute um instead i think <laughs> okay yeah yeah okay uh i would like to walk my way over to uh come on 5 10 15 20 yeah Whoa. i think that's within range um what's the range on that let me just check something uh Range, self, ah, okay. I need to get a little bit closer. Um, I would like to say, I'm afraid this voyage is about to become unprofitable and cast <laughs> Thunderwave at this smaller boat. Ooh. Mm. All right. Thunderwave, all right. It emanates yes. out from you and just ruptures a little bit of the boat, shaking it. And let's make a saving throw for this halfling. Ooh. He makes it. Is that a good ooh or a bad ooh? <laughs> he, he makes it. He makes the save. So he only takes half damage. And I assume Thunder Wave pushes things as well, yeah? Yes. Uh, on a failed save, uh, creatures push 10 feet away from you on a successful. They take uh, half as much damage and isn't pushed. However, unsecured objects that are completely within the area of effect <laughs> are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you. Does the boat count? It most certainly does. And you push the boat and it whoa, gets pushed like this. Yes. <laughs> Pointed away from the ship. Yes. There we go. That's so... ten feet. And you can see the the half the halfling is like whoa, just like wobbling as the the ship is forcefully pushed away from you. I, f well done. I figure if we can make this not worth their while, they'll probably leave. Uh, oh boy, I am out of first level spells now though. Uh, let's see. So that was my action, my movement, um, and I'm going to. Bonus action, bomb of the summer court. Can I do that to myself? It says a creature you can see within uh, X number of feet. Yeah, you can do it on yourself. I'm pretty sure what that means. Sweet. I would love to do that then. Yeah, I think it would say a creature other than you if it yeah. couldn't. All right, well done. All right. Thank you. And Next turn. is Fritz. Okay. Uh, well, I'm first of all going to turn to these two, the elf mm -hmm. and human, and say, under deck, like they need to go repair, like, go, 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 go. Okay, they <laughs> nod and take you at your word as they do know you well, and they, um, yep, they trust you, and they are going to <laughs> run under deck to fix the ship on their turn. But I will also use Shape of Water to hold ourselves <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> I cut you. <laughs> so we don't, you know, perish. 
Uh, yeah. Perish. I, don't, be bad. I don't have the way to cast it. Maybe uh, I shape it water. Down. I think it's only in a five foot cube. Oh, are they not? Uh, cl- yeah. It's a five foot cube, but it has a range. Hold on. Do you want me to just cast it in so you yeah, can? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's got a range of 30 feet, but it's a five foot cube. Um, yeah, so the area of the water is only five foot cube, so one square. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can use it to seal the breaches, or you can also uh, you can move five cubic feet of water out of the hold uh, if you wanted to, but you know yeah. one thing at a time. Mm-hmm. Would I would I be able to be in range to patch one of the holes up? Yes, absolutely. Then yeah, I'm gonna patch that hole up. Yeah. Not, okay. Yeah, you patch the the second hole that the elf made. Um, me I've just that. gotta wait for them to go repair it. Uh... Yep. <laughs> Seals up the hole. Less water is sinking into the ship. Good, good, good. Um. And then I'm gonna use some of my movement to kind of get higher up in the air. All right. Basically, because before I was kind of just scurrying and hopping, I'm actually mm-hmm. gonna go back to flying. All right. Nice. Uh... Next. Uh, oh wait, yeah, are you are you done? With I think I'm done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Word, your turn. You have the cannon aimed at the other boat. I do. Uh, I have an immediate issue I have to deal with, so I'm going to use. You said it's going to be a bonus action to pull the cord. Yes. Okay. Then I will stab at him with my dagger. He is prone. So you Please have advantage just and stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. Crit! 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 <laughs> stab at him. Boss, and just like boss, oh. boss. 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 I take his boss, life. Boss. Boss. Do you actually like that? Is enough I, attack to kill him no, if you so wish? I, I, I will certainly take his life. Okay, <laughs> you stab him, and he's dead. Wow! First, that's what kill you get for blocking campaign. like three of my attacks. And then I, I tug on the cord and I blow up the other boat. Yes, you blow like up maniac. the other boat. It immediately just shatters into splinters, and the elf is lost adrift at sea. Let's see how much damage. Wasn't it takes. he already dragged overboard? No, that was the elf up here. Yeah, oh, that's further oh, back. that's good. Great. Uh-huh. Everything's coming up us. This elf is still up, but you can see that he is completely dazed and uh, just in the water now, and this boat is completely destroyed. Just... Oh, I can stop holding concentration on that. <laughs> and yeah. Anything else? Two for one. Double kill. <laughs> Double kill. Death. Oh, triple the kill. The boat's gone. Goodbye, flowers. Goodbye, flowers. Pentakill. <laughs> <laughs> Garage Kill-tacular. sale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> w- what's that? Kilimanjaro. Yeah. <laughs> Kill-tacular. <laughs> I like uh, when you get a, a spree with the um, Spartan laser. He goes, sunburst. <laughs> Killing spree. Anyway, Killing spree. anything else? Work? I think that's your bonus action and your action. Do you want to move at all? Mm, I tugged it. I am going to go and try and I'll try and I'll start to lift this guy up and I'm going to just shove him out of the boat. Out lift. of the boat. You shove yeah. him out of the boat, just roll him out and <laughs> and you can see something sucks him into the water as well. Mm. Death to every pirate but me. <laughs> that's that's it. But yeah, he did not he did not sink at a normal rate. Something pulled him under. Okay, I will, I will not be touching friendly. the water. <laughs> Buck, your turn. Yeah, let me just... Uh, I can I can hit him from there, actually, because I have go-go gadget. Bug bear arms. Arm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I will go here, and then I will try and hit him with my... Uh, with Big Blind. Mmm, not enough, mm. sadly. Mm. Fair you enough. go, and he is dodging and weaving out of the way. It's a very agile pirate. That's fine. Uh, I think that's all I want to do, so I'll end my turn. Okay. Then... Next are the pirates' turns, and you can see that the tabaxi is just going to leave the, uh, the orc bee, and he's going to look for the captain, and he hey. sees him. And he just picks him up by the scruff and he's gonna try and grapple him. <laughs> and he succeeds. Oh, uh, no. he, the Tabaxi oh, no. has grappled Dozen and has him in a headlock and just holds him here, p- 
pointing a pistol at him. Oh, great. Holding him hostage. Uh, Next, the tiefling is going to close the distance with you, Buck, and going to attack you. Fair enough. Ah, not enough. You are able to parry some of nice. these blows. Uh, these two are going to go below deck to go and fix the hull. And Paola, just struggling after being knocked off the <laughs> ship, is going to climb back up. You can see her hair is frazzled. She is real beat up and bruised. Um, and this halfling is going to try and steer his boat, but he gets sucked under. Shoop. And this elf you see gets sucked under. Shoop. Mm. Oh. And suddenly, uh, no. something else enters the fray. As you can see that some of the boats are missing the crew, you can see that Paula notices this as well, and she looks a little bit shocked. Where? Where's the crew? And as you guys are fighting, the, the ocean goes silent and still. And out from the waters spew up a familiar foe. Oh, no. No. It's the blot. Oh, my God. As they oh. rise up oh, and shoot no. out of the water, landing on the ship, what? including... Uh, some geysers, as you know them, things that fire spews of dark energy, the typical blot blobs, as well as one very tall humanoid blot form with one oh, no. glowing red eye. Oh. Yes, the blot has arrived, and it seems to have uh, appeared from under the surface of the water and hopped onto the ship. They seem to have been the ones that have been pulling people overboard for whatever reason. And there is a large humanoid blot-like creature on the ship that is staring directly at you, Lyra. Oh, oh what? Oh. <laughs> you got the heart. I, I guess that might be it. That is their turn. They have spent the turn getting on the surface and word you can see that there's a couple by you as well. Yeah. Lara, your turn. All right. Uh, what I would like to do is just find, uh, move myself. 15, 20, 25. And then I would like to use my shape water cantrip to uh, lift the water that that last crew member is in out of the water. Uh, so maybe he can like pull himself back on board along the rope without yes. it being too much I'm going to say that's very clever use. And you do so. Like he... Uh, will have to basically do stuff on his turn, but you pull the water towards the boat and he will be able to climb back on board on his turn. Awesome. I just didn't want him getting dragged under or the boat getting dragged under by him. Yeah, you uh, just hear a, thank you. No problem. Okay, so that was action, uh, movement. Don't have many useful bonus actions. Uh, actually, that's not true. I'm going to use my bonus action to shift into my slightly more cat-like form and get six temporary hit points. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Uh, and also more movement because I feel like this is bad. <laughs> All right, so that Probably was movement action, it. bonus action. Probably gonna need it. Uh, that's my turn. Very good playing around the poison. You haven't had to roll a skill check or attack. Since you got Being it. a spellcaster is fantastic. I yeah. just point at stuff and things happen. <laughs> Fritz, your turn. A bunch of blood is I... on board now. Yeah, I've noticed that. Uh, I'm going to do what my character's most likely going to do. Sorry, word. I'm going to go help Dozen. Yeah, fuck. Um, so I'm going to go over 35 feet. Let me just double check what that was. Let's go. F that's 35. Oh, it takes an action. Shit. Hold on, wait. Ha <laughs> 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 Um, 25 feet to fly just off the board here. Uh huh. And I am going to use. What was it called again? Technically, Dust. because no. we're mm -hmm. moving forward and Fritz is flying, do they move faster backwards? That's a good question. I'm going to say hmm. yes. I say you <laughs> double your movement speed when flying backwards because the ship is going forwards. 
<clears throat> Ooh, okay, cool. I... Are you I still going to bonus might... action dash? No, 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 I wasn't going to bonus action dash. Oh. That's, that was only, uh, that was only, uh, 25 feet there. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to use Gust of Wind, and it covers these two up to, wait, is this two square uh, so that's 10 feet. Oh. Towards the tabaxi, um, I can't put it in chat, but I can copy and paste what it says. Yeah. If you would like. Um, pretty much, I'm trying to blow the gun out of their hand. Whoa. They have to roll a strength save check every ta- every round, or they will get pushed back. Hmm? <clears throat> okay. And you're aiming it so that it only hits the tabaxi and not those on the end. Yep, because okay, those, that's, that's exactly why I moved here, because mm-hmm. it's only 10 feet. Ooh, yeah, you push, and they just like poof, 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 topple over the gun. Poof. Like next <laughs> to the orc, and they are forced to let go of Dozen. Mm-hmm. And uh, the orc just says, Hello, friend. <laughs> and he just cracks his knuckles a little bit. <laughs> the tabaxi is going to be prone since he was just knocked over this chest high wall and tripped Fuck down. Yeah. And the, the orc waves at you, Thanks, Fritz. Okay, I have. <laughs> you said my movement gets doubled. What is considered. So that way. So if I'm yes. moving the f- away from that. Yes, so since the ship is moving forwards. Basically, I get 60 feet of movement? It's great. Whoa! Right? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, well, you already moved 25 this way, yeah? Yeah, I know. So I know. you have essentially 10 because five. Okay, okay. I'm glad I now know like how this works. So it's not just to double check. It's not just when I'm dashing. It's as long as I'm moving down the ship, my yes. movement gets doubled. Yes, but okay. you could also dash and then have 120 moving speed away from the ship that mm-hmm. direction. But you'd have to catch Wait, I'd up. have 120 if I have? If you if go I that way. If I use my dash? Because my dash gives me an extra 30, right? Yes. I thought... <laughs> okay. Um, don't know where 120... I'm not good at math. Uh, okay. But I'm right now you only going... have 15 left. Yeah. But I just used an action, so I don't have an action. Uh, yeah, no, you I'm have, good. You have movement, though. If you wish to move at all. Uh, like, you can move any time you I will move turn. 15. I will move that extra 15 feet okay. just to be closer. Yep. You're flying, you're like, uh, what is it, 15 feet in the air? I'm, like, perched up on the, like, I've, like, grabbed onto the mm-hmm. cannon. Next, right. word. You're surrounded by two blot. They better get off my boat. <laughs> and I'm gonna target the the little the one with the flaming volcano head. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see if I can squash him first. Yep. So I'm just gonna do uh, what is it? Uh, two weapon fighting. Mm-hmm. Bam and Ooh. bam. Ooh. So that right. first that first one is enough, believe it or not. These things are Ooh. glass cannons. As you stab into oh, it and pff, it like shatters like it's made of glass, <laughs> and the pieces yeah, fall right. into the water and sink into the abyss below. So you do I have a second attack since you only needed that first one. Oh, um, I think I would hand. have probably, I would have used the offhand to try and attack that guy and I would have gotten the same roll, so okay. I'm not going to cheat out of that. So let's see um, the severity on that nat one. Oh, that's a nat one. That's right. That yeah. is a nat one. I didn't notice. <laughs> Very noble of you. It's up to you. Okay, you go to stab at it and it's just like it's not that bad, but like you go to stab, your hand slips a little bit and you get it at a bad angle and you're just like, <laughs> hand goes into oh. the gloopy blot and it burns a little bit, a little hot, but you pull it out before it actually starts to yeah. uh, hurt. I'm not yeah. a fan of that. Do I take like one damage or something? No, you don't. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> it was, the it's severity like roll was not bad enough of a severe thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will... Then, like, just shake my hand, stand on top of the corpse that I have defeated, and just turn at the thing and, like, uh, give it a smirk. Very it's, nice. it's not sticking around for another six You're seconds. You're very determined to get this boat. It's mine! <laughs> <laughs> but, I want it fair and square. Your turn. Uh, but between a rock and a hard place. Um, I'll say to the team, like, please don't make me regret this. We have bigger things to worry about. And then I'll turn around and I'll try and hit the blot behind Give me a me. persuasion check as well. <laughs> oh, he needs persuading, hey? Uh, Flip the coin. 13? Right. You say this to him and the tiefling just like tilts his head a little bit. We'll see where it goes. Ugh. Oh, 
now, now I just want to hit him with, with the <laughs> Oh, man. I'll still try and hit the blot. Um, okay. The one that's, like, near me. Bugbear arms. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yep, that's gonna be enough. You splat, just pfft, the thing splats a little bit. Some of it kind of gets on you. You can feel that it's just a little like warm, uh, like it doesn't burn you, but it's like a little hot. The uh, the little blot goop. Um, and you splat. because I've it was one hit. What's up? Because I've made a um, melee attack. The mobile feature allows me to disengage or to move without incurring any. Um, oh, attack of opportunity. Yeah. Okay, you wish to move? I do wish to move. Right. Um, so... I want to come over here. I want to come back with Lyra. Uh, mm-hmm. And I'll put myself in between this thing and Lyra. Nice. Thanks. All right. And that would be... Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, oh, I did an additional two damage to the thing that I killed. But <laughs> yeah, it's dead. <laughs> it's, it's dead. It's extra so, dead now. Yeah. Uh, so that will be my turn. All right, next are the pirates and blot turn. So this humanoid blot is simply going to walk towards you, Lyra. Oh, no. And pays no mind to anything. And it absorbs what's left of this little blotling that was splatted by Buck, and it goes into it and continues. And you can see the tiefling looks a little bit unsettled, and he is going to take his... Cutlass, and he's going to go up and he's going to take a swing, and it gets stuck and sucked in, and it sucks his arm. No, 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 no! And it starts to suck him, and he's just kind of now looking very desperate and reaching out. Help! 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 Calling out to you, Buck. Uh, we'll see where this takes us. <laughs> <laughs> Devastating. Thanks for taking the bullet, Lieutenant Worf. All right, let's go. <laughs> and this one is going to attack you, Word. It's going to spit a few bits of blood at you. Yeah. Oh, no. It's like nothing. It can't even get it up today. Just... <laughs> and you just oh. take like a step back, and it just lands at your feet. You hear it sizzle a little bit as it lands on the... I the swear, wood. if you put a leak in my bowl... Hmm. <laughs> Uh, the tabaxi and the orc are both going to get up, and the tabaxi is going to try and cut at the orc again. Uh, ooh, no it doesn't. The orc, oh my god, the orc just grabs the tabaxi by his shoulders, lifts him up, carry, holds him above the ship right here, and oh. drops him into the water. <laughs> <Hey-o>! <laughs> You're going in the timeout ocean. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't no. know how well a cat can swim. <laughs> and this human is going to climb on up on account of being held by Lyra, and he's going to try and make it below deck for safety. He's just running this way. And Dozen is going to take out his cutlass and going for this blot. You stay away from my crew! <laughs> oh, heck yeah. And he's going to cut this one pretty good. He doesn't completely destroy it. And you can see that as her crew is diminishing more and more, Paola is like, what are you doing? Go after the heart. And then immediately you can see that there's one blot latched onto her leg, starting to pull her down. And she grabs onto the side. She's hanging on for dear life. She's not able to take an action this turn. But she is like latched on to the edge. And now, as for the blots, these geysers are going to fire. This one is going to fire at you, Fritz. A beam of energy just blasts into you, Jesus Fritz. You're going to take five force damage as it kind of bashes into you, this beam of arcane energy. This one is going to do the same at you, Lara. It's going to fire at you. All right. Ooh. And yes, it blasts out a beam of energy at you, just as with Fritz. And you take four force damage. Ah, uh, my temporary hit points. This one is going to try and skitter away from you, Buck, as it is a ranged attacker. You have an attack of opportunity. Oh, where's my use <laughs> big blind kill? Ooh, whoa! <laughs> killed. Just <laughs> killed. That's what you did. <laughs> it tries to skitter away, but you catch it on the way out. Just 
This one nice. is also going to aim for Lyra. Oh, come on. I'm just a little guy. Uh, it goes a little wide, lucky for you. It just phew, a bit far. And this one is going to crawl to the front of the boat and is going to fire at the tabaxi in the water. Oh. <laughs> oh. Rip bozo. Yeah. <laughs> Rip, Rip bozo. bozo. <laughs> As it fires at him, just poof, and jumps on him and pulls him under the water. Ooh. Oh, no. Horrifying. <laughs> And yeah, this so nasty. dwarf is uh, going to pull out their own cutlass and slice at this one. And it kills it. Just one hit. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Okay. All right. Lyra. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. A lot, lot of things happening. Um, I'm going to pull out my... <laughs> My dagger and my scimitar. Uh, and I'm going to just uh, move any day now. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Five, ten. And I want to uh, take a whack at that thing with my scimitar. At disadvantage, uh, as you are poisoned. At disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be patient with me. Okay, let's see. Is it going <laughs> to automatically do that? Or let's see. Uh, hold down. Option? Control, I no, think. No, control. There we go. Did it Did it work? Uh, no. I'm not seeing it. did not do it. All right, hold on. I'm working on it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just do that. Um, okay. Okay. An it's... 11 is not going to hit this thing. As you swipe, it almost pings off it like a solid object. Ugh, okay. Uh, well, I do have... Apparently, two weapon fighting. Uh, so yeah. I think I can use my bonus action to try and take a swing with my dagger. Yep. Uh, you won't be getting the uh, dexterity bonus for the damage. That's okay. Uh, I'll just roll it twice again. Mm -hmm. Okay, a 16 is enough. And you stab at it and it just shatters into a bunch of little hard pieces before the hard pieces turn into goop and like a liquid and sizzle on the wooden floor. That's disgusting. Okay. Uh, that was my, some of my movement, uh, my action, my bonus action. I'm going to move back behind Buck. <laughs> um, <laughs> just feel safer, you know? <laughs> Very well. Fritz. Right. Yep. Mm, do I make a bad decision? Yes. Um, <laughs> I heard yes. Okay. Um, oh, no. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm moving down the boat, oh. I get extra movement. Fritz. Mm -hmm. I'm going to basically... Goodbye, Fritz. No, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you! Uh, I'm going to basically fly over to this guy and basically drive by grab onto him. Oh, Ooh. you're gonna help him? Mm hmm. All right. Um, Hopefully. What when you do, do so, an athletics this? check to try and pull him out. Ooh! Okay. Where's my athletics? It's in your skills. Ooh. Fourth one. Mm. What? With a plus oh. them? Hey, well, maybe the why block rolls really say, badly. Maybe the Why did you really say what badly. you said at the beginning? Why did you maybe say what you the said block at the beginning? Can't roll badly. <laughs> what did you say at the beginning? Why? You tug and pull, but he's still stuck and he's screaming in agony. Please, please. <laughs> I'm trying. trying. <laughs> where you do pull him out, but it's just his torso. No! Oh! oh why oh, did you say oh, that? Why did you say that? <laughs> oh, hilarious! Everyone's favorite joke. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> it's too. Late. Been watching too much JoJo. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you would want to do, Fritz? I'll say that can be a bonus um, action. Oh, that was a bonus action. Sure. Yeah. Can I use an action to try again? You know what? Yeah. Why not? Hmm. Come on. Is athletics Fritz. again? Yep, you athletics again. You pull 16? him out. Better. Oh. Comes out with so much force that you pull him like that. Just against, like you skid along the floorboards. And you can see mm -hmm. that, like, the clothes on his body have been singed and, like, they have been, like, completely worn off and, like, torn and burned. Like, huh. And you can see that his skin is like as if he had been 
dipped in a pool of acid. And you can see there's burns all over. And he's shuddering and grasping. And he's just under his breath. He's like, thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. All right, and that's end of my turn. Next, word. I've had enough of you. I'm going to do the same thing again. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh yes. Oh. That is definitely that. going to be enough. You stab Ooh. and <laughs> it just splatters into a little goop. And you are now the only one on the boat. <laughs> my boat. <laughs> and I like just whip it off of my little my little normal dagger. Uh, yeah, I well, actually, um, since I still have my move and bonus action, can I? Does this thing have a mast? It does. It's back here. See? Oh. Okay. It's it's a can steering. I, it's a little steery thing as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here and like raise the sail or lower whatever's giving me momentum so that I can like s- very slowly just kind of bump into the boat and maybe slide off to the side. Yes, for a bit. you can do so. And it boop, okay. boop, just like bump into it and I'll not move those tokens because I'm lazy. Okay. And <laughs> I'll, I'll push them out of the boat as we go. <laughs> yeah. You start to move, slow your own boat so that you can go down the side of the ship that way. Yeah, it makes it That'll about there turn. as your momentum slowing okay. down. And you Wait, can see as well just... that... Um, Paula, right here, you can see on her leg is oh. a blot pulling her down, and she is just like calling out to you. Go, help! You're a pilgrim, right? You you help people. Oh. Uh, I I don't know if it's too much for my turn, but I will like grab. I think I I do have a rope. Mm. Um, and I will toss it to her to just see if she can grab it, and maybe pull herself up. Okay. Helpful. You toss Ish. the rope, and she is going to do that on her turn. All right. Fuck! Your turn. Uh, Fritz, keep Lyra safe. <laughs> aye, aye. God. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Now, can, I think this would be a perfect time to roll the... Uh, can I can I use the the coin coin oh. on the, on an attack roll or no? You can yes, any d20 oh boy. roll. You might wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna backseat game, but you might wanna go go gadget bugbear arms <laughs> and no. attack him oh, from uh, ten I feet think back. I, I think it's gonna come up to get me anyway. But yeah, you're I right. I forgot it... that I had. I, I forgot that I had that. <laughs> Technically, I could just throw it at this thing because that's I what I was thing. thinking. Oh yeah. Mm. You can oh, also yeah. just not. <laughs> I don't want it to get. Well, my well, that's my thing is I don't want it to get to Fritz and this thing in its next turn. So I am gonna put uh, myself in between. Um, oh boy! I'll stay here. Screw it. Let's right. do the. Uh, come on! Roll on the heroic come sacrifice, on. my dude. All right, Lady roll luck. your D two. No! No! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! It's fair enough. You bugbear okay. arms. Pull another out. <laughs> you bugbear arms with your your mace. You go to to hammer into it, and it gets stuck just like the Tiefling's Cutlass, and it starts to pull you in. Uh, uh, but, uh, what I will say, can I let go of it? Because by the feature ah. that I have when I'm raging, it, it's gonna appear in the uh, in yes, my hand. Yes, you can let anyway. go. And your bugbear arms are long enough that, yes, okay, you can let go. Good oh. feature. Uh, oh. well, the, but my point is, is the, the weapon is supposed to return to my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, with yeah, the, with of course. Like, it, it starts to sink yeah. into it, and you let go of the weapon, knowing that it will appear in your hand at the end of the Shoot. turn. Shoot, so how much, uh, I've probably, if I went from here, hold on, I'm just checking how much I used. So, like, 30, ah, 30. I'll just, I'll still put myself in between Fritz. Okay. And this guy. Next. That's five more feet. Yeah, we'll see here. Is the blot and pirate singular turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, this boat is going to run out of... this. I haven't been keeping track of this boat, but this boat has not had someone to help it, so it just kind of falls behind with <laughs> uh, that blot. Wreck that bye. poor little blot. <laughs> um, and you can see that this one is going to continue over here. Um, here, and it's going to fire at... Actually, who goes first between the blot and the pirate? I think the pirates go first, so... Or the the crew. So this dwarf is going to pull out a musket, since they are by the weapons barrel. 
and fire. Yep, and this blot's dead. Yes. And they're going to go run <laughs> below deck where it's safe. Oh. <laughs> and Paula sure. is going to try and pull herself up with that rope. Oh, she can't. She's struggling. Mm. And she's just clutching, and she's just calling out, Dozen! Dozen! <laughs> and Dozen is just, like, sighing, oh, by the tree. <laughs> and he's going to cut down this blotling. Yep, he does. This blotling's dead. So all that's left is the he's humanoid. He's the big boy. And the humanoid is going to come up and lean down its head next to, just right in front of you with its glowy eye, Buck, and it glows a bright crimson. I need you to make a wisdom save. Oh, oh no. wisdom save. Oh, no. 12? 12 is You stare deep into its eye and you see flashes of imagery of your own life passing before you, all your failures all of your oh. mistakes, and you are paralyzed for the turn. Oh. One of those core memories might involve word. <laughs> also, this orc is going to run below deck, and so is this human. Mm -hmm. And it is going Can to just... continue to walk past you. What's up, Buck? I was going to say, do you want me to describe some of the things that I would see? <laughs> yes, go ahead. I would love that. Um, Montage. So, like, from Buck's perspective, um, there are, there's, like, like, it's him, and it's, like, him passed out. Like, it cuts from him passed out in a, like, a like a gambling uh, den, and then he's awake, and there's a, 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 a hold on, let me, I don't, hold up, I have to check something really quick. <laughs> um, check the notes on the tragic backstory. I do have my notes. Um, there's a, there's a tiefling woman, um, inside of a, inside of a, a, a bakery and he's holding her hand and then it cuts and there is a, an, an Asimar, uh, woman who's helping him out of, uh, out of the dirt on the ground. Um, uh, she's clad in uh, armor and then there is a, uh, a Firbolg woman who is sitting across from him with a deck of cards and she's, uh, uh, frowning. And then um, it and then it cuts to his perspective, and he's working in a field in Satya, and that's and then all of a sudden uh, there is a uh, there is the golden uh, a golden light, um, and he can see the cards uh, the white cards, and he's reaching out um, to a, a humanoid figure bathed in golden light, and then uh, he's uh, paralyzed. Ah, uh, this is some AMV stuff right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is the vision that the audience sees in dramatic irony, as the characters do not see that, aside from Buck. Uh, yep. Yeah, that is the exact definition of dramatic irony. Yes. Hey. I use it the proper way. Yeah. Um, and the large humanoid blot just, like, walks past you, Buck, up the stairs. Fritz, you have an attack of opportunity as it passes you by. Uh, I am going to... Javelin. Javelin? Throw this javelin Ooh, at it. Shplunk. Throw this javelin. I didn't know you had a javelin. All right, you chuck it. I have it and three of them. <laughs> yes, nice. You chuck it and it lands into it, and it just like stops midway as if as it pierces into it. You do do the damage, but then it stops walking, and twists its head to look at you. No. Ow. <laughs> Layra, your turn. <sighs> oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. Um, hmm. Well, I don't really like seeing it chew its way through my team. So I'm going to, let's see. Just, just making sure, just making sure the specs on this. 15 feet, right, okay. 5, 10, 15, yeah, that would work. Um, I'm just going to go here. Uh, and I will cast Thunder Wave at a second level. Ooh, you're going to try and knock it off the boat. Going to try and knock it off the boat. And if not, I'm going to try and do a hefty chunk of damage at it if I can. Um, let me just... 5, 10, 15. So that's basically the cube I would like Ooh. to affect. Yes. And uh, does it go away from the point of impact, or do you direct where it goes? Uh, 10 feet away from me. 
from you. By the spell's effect. Okay. Then yes, away from you. And it fails. I suppose you, I, I could have. Oh, good. It fails, and it you knock it <laughs> over the boat. And it's like trying to clutch onto the side. Like you can see this thing moves faster than something of its size should as it frantically starts reaching its hand out to latch onto the boat. Is it able to do it? <laughs> Yikes. And it's okay, not, and well. it's swept off by the sea. <sighs> Whew. Okay. Okay. But the All only right. thing left now is uh the pirates? Uh Paula and oh, the yes. tiefling. Mm-hmm. The two pirates that are left. Anything else you wish to do, Lyra? Uh well that was my movement, that was my action. Uh Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll set my bonus action for now. So let me just mark off my second level spell slot. There we go. Yeah, I'm all done. Fritz. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, you say they've got a rope, or are they struggling to hold They're on to the rope? They're struggling to pull themselves up with the rope. Ugh, okay. Um. Me, like, with Paula? Paula, yes. Yeah. Okay. Paula. The tiefling's down for the count. He's yeah. just, you know, I, being dramatic. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just, yeah, I don't think he's going to touch me after I helped him. Um... At least Fritz would believe the good in people wouldn't do something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, How much do we care about Paula? I, I've got it covered. Mm. I like her. Okay. <laughs> I will great. trust. Okay. Word. I'm going to shout out word. Do we want to just get the fuck out? I'd appreciate it. Okay. Word, can I trust you to get back on the boat? Pretty Uh-oh. quickly. Oh, I see where this is going. Uh, actually, can, can you come here and grab the rope for me? That I want to tie this. I cannot get that far. I actually, know. I you mean, know I, what? The, the, they are mostly mm-hmm. done fighting you, so I'm gonna say initiative is over. The encounter is over. Whew. All that's left is Paula is struggling and she needs okay, help. Okay. Uh, then yeah, on my turn, know. I was going to cast floating disc. Oh. Oh. Which appears within twenty feet of me, so I'll have it appear like right, he- uh, oh come on, like right here, and I'll tell her to grab onto it. And because the boat is moving backwards, it has to stay within twenty feet of me, so it will it like impossibly oh. push her toward me. Oh. I see. Yep. I huh. love this. I broke a carriage <laughs> with this spell once. Can I oh, explain boy. what I was gonna think of doing? Oh yeah, please. Sorry, yeah, I, I was going to use gust of wind on yep. the sails to get us the fuck out. Ooh, I like before that. that thing yeah. Ca- yeah. catches up. Okay, so word, you give her the floating disc and she mm-hmm. hops onto it, and with not much to hold onto uh, with the blot, since before it had the ship, now it has nothing. It's just hanging onto her leg. It drops into the ocean as it's pushed aside by the hull, and. Just as that happens, Fritz, you gust of wind into the sails of the ship, Ooh. propelling it forward quicker, and you guys nice. escape the blot. This boat is uh, falls behind, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I will raise the little sail here so that we're going as fast as we can up mm-hmm. next to the ship. Yep. And then since the big ship is moving faster, if we fall behind, I will ask that Fritz use my rope to, to anchor the two yeah. ships together yeah. so we can trail this I can always fly and get you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but I, I want I'll up, say I want you do boat. get you do have the boat yeah. word. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. You get the boat. <laughs> For as long as you can keep it. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to hide and it under so many palm leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and as things die down and like things calm down, um uh you got uh, the two uh Dozen basically has the crew tie up the two and put them in the center of the ship. And uh he just crosses his arms looking at Paula. Paula the Rattler. She and her ilk have been on my ass for years until she disappeared some months past. I'd hoped the absence meant that she threw in the towel, but I guess she was just biding her time for the next job. Am I still paralyzed with No, fear? no, no. It with it way. over, yeah. like, after all it's done, you would um, have recovered, like, shaken out of it. It was only for one turn. How long am I poisoned? Uh... <laughs> Your poison lasts like an hour, so. Oh, great. I can hardly tell the difference between this and how I felt earlier. (laughs) (laughs) 
you are like constantly holding back that saliva that comes before throwing up. Just, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> just <laughs> it looks like I'm being really stoic, but I just know that if I open my mouth, bad things are gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see uh, Paula just looks real upsetty spaghetti at this whole ordeal. She looks like her pride has been lost, and she is not making any eye contact with any of you. Look, you know this was all kind of your fault, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll cheer her up. She <laughs> stares daggers at you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm I'm making just a genuine point that you decided to attack us and this was the result of your attack. You know, that's the cause and effect of this situation. I'm I'm not saying that this is a permanently negative thing for you. I'm just saying, you know, to reconsider how you conduct yourself. She shakes her head a little bit. Well, you have something invaluable to me and so many other people. You don't even know what you have. Oh, we're going to get a lot more than what we have right now. Would you care to enlighten us? She just, like, turns to you, uh, Lyra. You mm -hmm. are in a unique position right now. You have power over the lords and dragons of Alinthi, all because of that stupid title you got. They'll listen to you. Hmm. Uh, oh, sure. A uh, big old happy family in Satya you got there. But in the mainland, they ain't gave us no hearty welcome and generous handouts as they do to you. We got to fight tooth and nail to be heard. So why don't you just uh -huh. make things a little easier on all of us? Give me that, and I can hold them for ransom. Hmm? Yeah, I got a better, I got a better idea. Uh, it sounds like we have a lot of power that you don't. So why don't you uh, just become an ally? You know, listen to what we have to say and benefit from the clear authority that you don't want us to have. What if we shared it? A little bit. Give me a persuasion. All right. Uh, 20! And you can see the tiefling is like, uh, you know, there's no reason why they have to be nice to us. I'd take his uh, offer. Oh, yeah. No, the, the opposite of this, this proposition is very bad. Mm. Involves she cannonballs just... and rope. Whoa, whoa. Ah. The chief filling and just goes, Yeah, I, I don't think we're in a position to negotiate. Yes, I'm afraid we only have room for one morally ambiguous criminal on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> she sighs and just does some raspberries. <sighs> <sighs> ah, fuck. <laughs> All right. Sure. Well, that was yeah, easy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what now? You're going to turn us into the guards? Oh, should we? No, I don't think no. so. No. It's good to In have someone day? with a recognizable name like Paula the Rattler on our team. If, if she <laughs> can put together a bunch of lackeys, then she can put together a bunch of other lackeys. But maybe if she does what we say, they'll do what we say. She narrows one eyebrow. Are you recruiting me? <laughs> you only have two options in this situation, sweetheart. Word. Word, are we bringing her with us? Can we not bring her with us, please? Oh, no. I'm d it, like, she'll stay in the area, do whatever she wants. Yeah. But oh, if, if we stop by, it's, a, it's, it's you know, we, ha we, we need assets. Ah, networking. I yeah, understand. I mean, is there a uh, weird... Obviously, you're, you understand that we're going to New Best Sky. Um, what is it that you exactly you can offer us? Because I'm, I'm still not convinced we shouldn't just throw these two overboard. Do you uh, they kind of look at each other. Uh, the tiefling's <laughs> just like, well, uh, you saved our lives. You let us live. I don't see why I couldn't offer you the same thing. Good luck convincing Paola, though. She holds grudges. I don't know she'll, that she'll be able to let this go, big as her ego is. And then she just elbows him. <laughs> uh, sorry. I always wanted to say that. You were always a pain in the ass. Now, she has every right to hold a grudge because she was someone who was able to put together a crew like you, come out here and do something like this. A little misguided, but it's more than other people can do. And I game, like that. Game recognized game. Yeah. <laughs> You, you're a pretty good boss yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, can you see keep that conducting your business. Your mm. generosity, as it were, just continues to upset mm. Paula. 
She is infuriated <laughs> at the words you're saying, but it's making sense to the tiefling. Oh, well, that's good. I don't think I'm getting through to you. And I kind of walk up to her and make a similar face to the one I make in the actual art. <laughs> what kind of language do you speak, Paula? She just uh, rolls her eyes a, a little bit. <sighs> I speak the language of helping the little guys. And you are just another cog in the machine perpetuating this nonsense. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the salvation of the world too highfalutin for you? <laughs> uh, listen, the lords of Alinthi are preoccupied with keeping their precious tree that they ain't got a single wit for us common folk. Sure, all this, saving the world, all that, everything is funneled into the tree that they ain't even bothered sharing any of it with us. They're obsessed with that tree and everything about it. They don't even want to share a little bit of help for us at the bottom. Whatever the tree does for the land, if it means that we at the bottom still have to fight tooth and nail for even a single leaf of its bounty, I wouldn't bat an eye if it burned down tomorrow. I suspect I mean, you'd change your tune the day after. Yeah, did you not just see what was on the boat? She shrugs her shoulders. Doesn't make much difference in my daily life. Um, I personally did... couldn't disagree. <laughs> I... But... If you look at the situation, my friend, it is us who has bounty over the tree. You know, we basically are here determining its fate. And then there's people that look up to us. And, you know, we were little people, you know, just less than a week ago. So, you know, maybe you, you stick on our side and we understand where you're coming from. We start to level the playing field as we go. If you can help us, you can help us. If not... I hope you have somewhere you'd like to go when you die. <laughs> oh. She sighs reluctantly. Fine. We'll join your crew, whatever it is that you got. But mark my words, you if you knew where I came from, you'd know. Ruled by lords or ruled by blot makes no difference to us. I couldn't disagree more. Oh, wait, agree more. I got that wrong. <laughs> That's incorrect. <sighs> All right. And uh, the tiefling just kind of like nods his head as well. And it seems as though they look subdued. Dozen, can I free the tiefling? Yeah, he seems all right to me. Yeah. I'd keep an eye on Paula, though. Oh, she not friend yet. And I'm just going to do the deep line of my friend, and I untie them. Yep. He, he kind of uh, rubs his wrists a little bit and extends a hand. Uh, Adrian, nice to meet you. Fritz! <laughs> uh, you're uh, a lot stronger than you look. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, All in the legs. <laughs> thanks for that. And, uh, hey, uh, new, what should I call you? And he looks over at Word. You got a title you prefer? Me? <laughs> yeah, we just kind of <laughs> called her captain and all that stuff, but... Well, I, I don't know. I guess if I were to think of something on the spot, you can call me... I don't know, I guess the boss. Mm, boss. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Well, uh, Captain Dozen, boss, if I may, I would like a <laughs> new set of pants. <laughs> and uh, Dozen's just like, right this way, and brings him below deck, uh, and then goes back to the helm to captain the ship, heading back towards the mainland as you initially planned. Whew. Well, that was incredible. And what do you, so what is your plan with Paula? She has agreed to join your lackey group word, but um, mm -hmm. when do you wish to free her, if at all? Oh, um, I don't think she has any authority right now. First, first situation is getting my boat <laughs> seated because I know that, you know, t recruiting her and having a small escape boat right next to us is just a <laughs> recipe for disaster. Right. You so, can keep um, her tied up. Just like to the mast or something. I don't want to do that, though. I no. think I will... Um, First off, I'm going to need Fritz's help to, like, tie my rope to the front of this boat and then tail it behind this boat, just, mm -hmm. like, with an anchor. 
for sure. Where for do sure. you want it? Uh, just to wherever it stays. I... That I'll probably I'll probably have you tie it to the mast. That would make sense. All right. That's easy. Um, to see. And right. then, wait, how long does that last? Oh, it only lasts an hour. Um, I will go back and I will cast Unseen Servant, and I will give it my bell. And if anyone comes near my boat, I want it to ring that bell as constantly <laughs> as possible. <laughs> Yay! All right. And then awesome. I'm going to go and untie her. Mm. No hot feelings. We can talk about this a little further later. I didn't mean to be so harsh, but, you know, situations are a little tough. Mm. You did attack us. I can't resent you for that, but, you know, it's contextual. Oops. She walks up to you, crosses her arms, and tilts her head a bit. So you do know what it's like to struggle. Hmm. You have no idea. Well, I look forward to seeing how you deal with those struggles. Just watch me. She just uh, kind of walks past you, just gently bumps you with her leg, kind of disrespectfully, and moves below deck. I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> uh, it, word like stands there genuinely thinking about like the actual struggles that he's gone through and is just kind of stunned by memory that he doesn't huh. like. So he just kind of looks off for a bit. Whoa, two angsty flashbacks in one episode? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like they put thought into these characters and why they act their way. Wow. <sighs> anyway, a few more hours pass and you do hear the bell ring once word, but it's the orc. <laughs> uh, the, the orcish man with the rat pet. And he's just like, oh, oh, sorry, I just wanted to admire this uh, new boat that you got. Oh, and I wanted to show rat friend. Yeah, that's still that in I, my that hair? I got. Hold on. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, still in my hair. They, they were not still in your hair. No, they escaped. Um, I just mm. didn't say because there was a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit occupied. Sorry, the rat friend. <laughs> <laughs> the rat squeaks a little bit. Oh, Speak no with animals went down 10 minutes later. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look, uh, I'll, I'll talk to the unseen servant, let it know like that this guy's okay, and then I will ask him like, "Look, if you see anyone touching my boat or touching that rope, either give him what for or let me know." He salutes you. You got it, boss. <gasps> Thank you, it's, it's my spreading. friend. Oh, it's gosh. spreading like a plague. Yeah, no, he already called him boss when he got his uh, cutlass yeah. signed. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Word, he's a, word he's the was fan. the blot all along. He's the fan. <laughs> It's kind of Can got we... the energy of somebody who calls everybody boss, though, you know? <laughs> That's true. It's uh, a very, that is true, it's, a little bit. It's such a wild what's... ride for me, because it's such a British thing. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your name there? Uh, my, my name's Storig. It's nice to meet you. Nice nice to formally meet you a second time, too, Storig. Cut the it out, put it in my yes, he, uh, he, uh. he just nods, and uh, yeah, he seems very satisfied okay. that you now know his name. Yay. Cool. I have them under, uh, in my allies notes, under the word ocean in all caps. Hmm. <laughs> ocean allies. Yeah, ocean allies. Can I, can I like, call everyone together um, at some point before we, uh, like, on the rest of the journey? Mm. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the group. Sure. Yeah. So, we oh, need uh, to... sorry, real quick, before we do that, I want to use the mending cantrip to permanently mend those holes in the hull. <laughs> yes, uh, I assume you are helping the crew patch up the ship, yeah. like, over time. Well, because those, technically, I can only do two of those ice plugs at a time, so it's mm. good we didn't use that too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, the mending cantrip, I can just do as many times as we need. Okay, I'm going to need that on my little boat, too. There's some acid. I hit it. <laughs> I'll but put it at the bottom of the list. Yeah, mend my boots. <laughs> oh, it sinks in the meantime. The boss. Uh, it's still tied to the ship. We aren't going to yeah. lose it. <laughs> it's the boss mill. That's the, the boat. The boss mill. The, bo the boss mill. Oh. I, I can't did wait have something I, I wanted to bring up. What? Oh. I, I don't know why you gathered us, but it's just a, a little note. I, I realized that my deck is something a little special, and I was trying to come up with a name for it, because you've got, you know, your big hammer's name. And I, I kind of split between something like Dragon Tooth or just calling it Negotiation. <laughs> then I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> negotiation um, fits quite well. Negotiation is rather cute. I like the, I like the Negotiation. I mean... Right. That I think it, I, could, I could say like I'm going to use a, li a little bit of Negotiation. It's like a keyword. <laughs> 
I don't know if I want to call it a little bit of negotiation, the dagger, but maybe just. <laughs> yeah, really all right. I'll, cuts I'll stick to the with point. That. It really does. Cuts cuts straight to the the, the meat of the, the question. So <gasps> why are we here? What's up? I, I don't know. Well, I I just think look, we're gonna be heading into Nubis, okay, and it's it's not the it's a pretty wild town, um, and I just think if we're gonna be there, we need to make clear. I think what's become clear to me about this entire ship journey is there are going to be people after us. Um, and not just people, but clearly there's something going on with the blot. I have never seen yeah. anything like that happen. I don't know if you saw what happened to me, but that thing looked into my eyes and paralyzed me with my own failings and misgivings to <laughs> memories that I, I really didn't want to have to deal with. It again. can do that. Was that one of uh, the little ones, like the one with the little lava on nope, the top? No, that, that would have been the giant the one with one. the glowing red there eye was, that was trying to kill, or, well, I think wait, going was, after Leyra. There yes. was a giant one with a big eye? Oh, yes, oh, you were yeah. a little I bit mean, apart this, from the fight. Yeah. That, oh, my God. Do they so, get, like, bigger and bigger? Like, just always? Maybe we'll find out. I, I don't that, and that's see one that's like the size of like a, the hippo or something. Yeah, that's kind of my point. Um, that we're gonna have to make sure we stick together as closely as possible um, to the extent that it's possible while we're doing this. Because if that's a fair point, God forbid another group of assassins comes and tries to take the hearts, or the blot comes out of nowhere. I just, I just think it's something that we need to be more careful about. Have you been to Nuba Sky? It's, uh, it's where I'm from. Oh. I was born there. I see. I'm actually a little embarrassed that I didn't know that. I don't like to really uh, talk too much about my life prior to Satya. Um, but, <laughs> no, yes. I, I can respect that. Mm. But, um, is there anything we need to know, you know, like, like going in? Um, I, uh, well, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, f I would be familiar with the dragon, wouldn't I, Joe? Yes, you would know. Oh. Uh, let me pull out my notes. You would know who the dragon there is. I believe it's a glad, I don't want to say it without. Yeah, no, I, hold on, let me find my notes. Yep, you do know a, that the dragon, that's not the correct it, notes. One second, it's, technical difficulties. I'm, <laughs> Am I wrong in saying it's a gladiatrix? Gladiatrix, oh, yes, it is a gladiatrix. Her name is Cecilia the Great. She is a minotaur. She uh, often performs in the gladiatorial uh, coliseum that Nubisky is best known for. And is that just like a, a gladiator dominatrix? What, what is no, that? No, it's gladiatrix a female is just, gladiator. It's just named oh, the female the, gladiator. The feminine, okay. uh, the feminine mm -hmm. form. So that's like, a, like an occupation. Okay. Yeah. Yes. She is the dragon of Nuba Sky, but she also performs regularly in the Colosseum. And uh, that is where a majority of the tourism that happens in Nuba Sky. It's a, very, it's a place of a lot of merriment and, and joy. A lot of people go there to retire a lot of the time. It's kind of a hmm. party city. Hmm. Florida. Probably some gambling. Probably some gambling. <laughs> Probably some gambling. So it's, I mean, it's a fast-moving city. And the dragons, Cecilia the Great is, I, I mean, I can't imagine. I, I, I should be clear, I, I kind of stay away from the, I always sort of stayed away from the uh, Coliseum. Sort of a tourist trap, if you ask me. But <laughs> I know she performs there. And I have to imagine that it's going to be involved some sort of fight that would be pretty difficult and she's not a kind of person that I would want to get involved with is all I'm but saying didn't didn't we already do like exactly that yes i suspect we'll have no choice we fought we fought an old man in his pajamas and this is a <laughs> uh, well, he, he had just a happened, bear. he had he a pet happened. bear that was also an Correct. owl he just kind of happened to want to fight us, I think, at the end. Oh. And he, and oh. again, this is a person whose job is to fight. And so I just, mm. I just I'm not trying to intimidate anybody. I don't know exactly what it is she's going to want us to do. But um, it's, like I said, it's, it, there's a lot going on. And so I, it's easy. I know firsthand it's easy to get distracted there. And so we just try, need to keep our heads on a swivel. 
thing. So basically, we got to bring everything we got to this one. I think that's going to be that way for pretty much all of these trials, but yeah. Yeah. That pirate said that having the heart would give us power over these political leaders. I don't particularly understand what you meant by that. I, I think it's just like a general sway. I, I don't think there's Dozen. any like, actual like magic mm -hmm. power. Dozen waves his hand. Ah, it's just hogwash that she's been sniffing her own farts, really. You're down the path that she is for so long, you start to believe things that most of the time aren't true. Considering what little she has, I have known of her struggling past. She believes anyone with any bit of sway must be the second coming of the Great Tree's descendants. Maybe she's not too wrong. He shrugs his shoulders. Maybe. You are the ones who are called pilgrims, after all, and that comes with it a little degree of respect from people and understanding that I it's your we job. I thought were the heroes of... The, the champions of Satya. Do we just get called pilgrims well, from here on we're out? We're outside that's, that's... of Satya now. I know, but we're still the champions of Satya. Aye, but that you are, it. but unfortunately, the rest of the provinces don't think too highly of Satya. We're yeah. usually the black sheep when it comes to any sort of... Family reunions, as it were. Really? All right. And then next up, we become the champions of Nuba Sky. <laughs> Here's to hoping. I just don't I understand really, what the tree like has to do with her grievances. I think it's just like a like a magnet for emotional discourse. It's just oh, there's a bunch of problems in my life. Let's look at the one thing that causes problems. Mm. Dozen <laughs> sighs a little projecting. bit. Projecting. Uh, I can't help but agree with her in some kind of way. Even Lord mm. Candela can sometimes be stuck up to her own frills, so to speak, and uh, some of the really yeah, struggling like folk and even Satya go completely unheard instead of, and instead fall back on some kind of disgusting crime syndicate that's using them like tools. And all I can do is pray for the gods to change that. In more, in more changed. desperate shoes, I can see myself doing similar things and probably give that I'd normally give the stink eye to otherwise. What? Mm. You'd never do that, Dozen, you have me. Come on. <laughs> he, he chuckles and shakes his head a, a little bit. Ah, that I do, Fritz. I like eye him up and down, like in a promising way. <laughs> hmm. It's like, oh, maybe I can use this man. He, he <laughs> looks over to you, shoes. Lyra. <laughs> you just got to understand, girl, that sometimes people do stupid, illogical things when they've really got nothing left. But why would they have nothing left? He shrugs his shoulders. Because certain people aren't using their power res responsibly, I guess. It's I also see. a matter of perspective. Everyone's always got something, but, uh, you know, sometimes people don't know what they got. And that lets you take it away from them. I oh. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yeah, I, speaking, not speaking never of did. drinks, let's maybe get something to... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a stressful I'm two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, after a few more hours, the ship makes its way closer and closer to the mainland. Let's just rearrange my tabs a little bit. <laughs> and you see the shore approaching you. And with it, a crowd of people anticipating your arrival. Bands are playing music to accompany the cheers, and some boats are sent out and kind of addressing, uh, assessing the damages to the ship. Hmm. Uh, Dozen lets a few of them on board and gives them the rundown about what happened Whoops. as the other boats kind of escort uh, the ship. What's up? Uh, quickly, is anyone else still injured? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I had like one day. Dozen. Fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's going right. off? You doing uh, okay? <laughs> I, uh, I'll, I'll be all right. They'll, they'll admit me to some healers. No, not to worry. And they'll help you as well if you need some. And they can provide any healing no, no, that's I, needed. How's I just uh, how, figure we should look how's, presentables. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna... How's Paula and the, the, the I took tiefling took a bit dog. of damage. Hmm. Yeah, he, he tells them the situation. And they kind of go below deck to assess the damage as well. And take care of people as best they can. And okay, I'm going to bomb of the summer court a D6 healing into Fritz, and I'm going to do one for me as well. Uh, does that mean I'm Do you want to take, take the free heals from the healers on board? 
Oh, the heroes on board I'll do. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, we have uh, I just figure board? when we arrive in town, we should probably look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, right, we right. get a free... So we have free healed full health now? Yes, you're free healed full health, so you don't need to use the bomb on the summer court thing. Oh, thank cool. goodness. Okay, Yeah, perfect. these people are escorting you to... Uh, the shores as you know the the ship comes out to meet you guys as it's very clear that this ship took some damage on the way um, mm. I've been mending everything <laughs> <laughs> yes of course and uh, and then as some more time goes on just a few more minutes you guys arrive and the pull the ship is pulled into the docks of Nuba Sky Whoa. Once again, the art courtesy of Angel, half heart XI on Twitter. Oh, oh pretty. Wow, thank you, A lot you, more Angel. green. Yep, and yeah. as the ship docks and drops anchor, the crew starts to unload cargo, and Dozen approaches you all, specifically Fritz. <laughs> Let me, Captain Dozen, where is he? Uh, Dozy boy. There he is. And he comes up and he looks up at you, Fritz. Well, kid, I guess this is goodbye for a little while. Deliveries are going to be a lot less fun without you around. I mean, I know my sea jokes are some pretty, pretty good ones, and they come close, but the crew has a hard time recognizing my genius. (laughs) (laughs) And Dozen looks out to the ocean and leans on the side of the boat for a bit. And he looks back to you, Fritz. I know uh, I ain't ever considered planting roots. Uh, You know, I never considered planting roots in one place for long enough to have a family, but uh, being on the ship with this crew, it's it's very clear to me now that I've already made one right here on the Nado. And one tear starts to roll down his cheek. And I guess that's uh, why it's kind of hard to see my little shit bag taking her leave for the first time. (laughs) You get out there, you save the world, and most of all, you make it as bright and loud and obnoxious and wonderful as you are. I, the world could use a little bit more of that. Oh. I want to tackle him and I like pick up, hug him, and I'm like, remember yes. no crying, yes. only when sea foam hits your face. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I've had enough sea foam for a fi- quite a few years now, so I think I've earned it. Hmm. And you squeeze him, and as you put him down, he uh, just wipes the tears from his face, and he puts his hands on his hips. Well, what are you waiting for? Me to break into song? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, might not be the best idea, but... I go on now. Enjoy the festivities, and give that gladiatrix a whooping for me. Look after the place for me. (laughs) And you head across the gangplank onto the Biscayan docks right ahead of you. And you are finally on the mainland. Welcome to New Biscay. That is where Oof. we're going to call today's session. Hey. Yeah. yeah. You better Heck look after yeah. Sifa, I swear. 